Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. Of course, through the Expanded Sky ROM hack, which very much big thank you to them again. As always, link to that ROM hack can be found through the ba ba ba, the, the YouTube description of these streams and videos of this series. <laughs> ah, hello, hello, Twitch and YouTube chats. Uh, this time, we're just going to quickly jump into the main game. That's kind of amusing there. It showed Scizor's, I forget how to pronounce it, Scizor's portrait, even though we fought a frost last. Interesting. This is mostly so that we can deposit our reviver seeds into the Kangaskhan storage and maybe see if there's a... The people have changed, so... <laughs> we'll talk to them next time. Darn it, there's no reviver seeds here. I was hoping that we could grab some. Because we're going to put our reviver seeds into storage. Because we're going to be doing what I believe is the final special episode of Pokemon Explores of Sky. So it'll be very interesting. It's the last one we've unlocked. Uh, save and return to top menu. So that way, the Reviver Seeds can be used for this. But let's see. In the future of darkness, what will... It... Just note, it's difficult. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy! Well, I've, uh, I've managed to survive some difficult things so far. Oddly enough, Bidoof's Wish has been the hardest one so far, so... It took me two hours to finish. Huh. Well... Team Charms episode took me, like, an hour and a half, so... <laughs> Let's see. In the future of darkness. Oh, are we gonna be pro playing as Grovile? Oh, no, this could be sad. Are we, are we going to watch the dark future fade? Oh, is it gonna be like Grovile trying to work his way back to... to Celebi so they can vanish from history together? Oh, Oh no. Grovile, who came from the future to prevent the planet's paralysis, collected the time gears, and together with Neon and Silas, made his way to Dialga's temporal tower. However, oh, we're gonna see this again. My won't. You'll never change history. <laughs> Uh, Grovile! So you shielded Neon Grovile. That's taken a heavy toll on you. Very well. You're going down first. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, Dusknoir, I'm... I'm taking you with me. We're going back to the future! Wha- What? Neon, it's up to you now! Gah, those are... Time Gears! Okay, team! The Rainbow Stone Ship's set to go! Wha- What's happening? Silas, this is it for me! I'm taking Dusk Noir back! To the future! Huh? What? I can never come back here again. Watch Neon's back. Promise me! B but... Take your place, Grovile? I can't! You must and you will. Because you can, Silas. You two are... The greatest of combinations. Quark, unhand me! Release me! We're almost there. Quiet! Neon. Take care, Neon. I was lucky to have known you. Though the parting hurts, the rest is in your hands. Grovile! 
Sorry for the hold up, Dusk Noir. We had to rewatch that again. We had to watch that again. How how dare you? You had to do that to me. Oh. Oh, not counting the on and off hours trying to finish it. But uh, they had to make us relive that moment. They had to. After entrusting his mission to his friends, Groval returned to the future. Ah, oh, but it's plain the fa this fate is in your hands. The music. Grovile. Why? Grovile. Yet Neon and Silas were desperately trying to contain their sorrow. Hey, Neon. We have to do this. For Grovile's sake. Let's go to Temporal Tower. Ah. Filled with that sentiment, they set off on a final adventure. But then, after having returned to the future with Dusk Noir, Grovile. Oh, so that's where we're going to begin. We're going to begin <laughs> special episode five in the future of darkness. Ah. This game knows how to crit my heart exactly. So, we're gonna begin this special episode with Grovile shoving Dusk Noir through the portal, and it's going to be relaying everything that happens after that. Oh boy. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for this. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh. Dusk Noir. Is this the future? I'm... I'm back again. This world of darkness. But Dusk Noir and I haven't disappeared. The future's still in this dark place. Does that mean history hasn't been changed yet? Don't tell me. Preventing the planet's paralysis, did Neon and Silas fail? No, that can't be. It's only that they haven't done it yet. The effects of history being changed will probably start appearing soon. I simply haven't noticed them yet. Anyhow, right now I've got no choice but to believe that. Neon, Silas, please succeed for me. I believe in you too. I'm doing everything I can. Ah! My injuries from fighting Dusk Noir still hurt. Ah, crap. S Sableye! <laughs> Grovile! And he just fucked off. They found me already. I've got to get out of here as fast as I can. Ah... <laughs> uh, uh... Dusk Noir. Uh, Grovile. Grovile. You! It looks like our fight left you with some injuries, too. Don't push yourself. You. Grovile. Ah. Uh, this. This is. The future. I knew I'd come right back here. To this world. <laughs> after all, after all, didn't I lose to you? Grovile and Neon, I. I couldn't get in your way. <laughs> but why? I don't want to disappear. That's all. I just don't want to disappear. Yet, why did you? You saw the world of the past, didn't you? The beauty of a sunrise, the peacefulness of a gentle breeze. There's no future in this dark world. It's enough to break your heart. 
I don't want to disappear either. But if history could be changed, I'm willing to pay that price. Even if we disappeared, it would be for the sake of everyone who lives in the future. Everyone, everything from now on would be given a gift of a new life. And this song, this song sounds good. For a new life. According to the planetary investigation team, everyone except those few whose hearts are dark and shriveled, everyone was in agreement. They all agreed to change this world of darkness. Who is this coalition? Uh, this is the first I've heard of it. Everyone's ready. So do the right thing and give up. Where will you go? The Sable Eye found me earlier, while you were still unconscious. Your failure. They'll probably tell Primal Dialga about it. If that happens, Primal Dialga will likely go with Plan B. But in order to send a new agent back to the past world, Dialga needs some time to store power. So, I'm going to fight him now. I'm going to Temporal Tower. Alright, th this is interesting. He's going to fight the future Dialga to try and buy enough time for Silas and Zoro and Neon to fix the fu all of time. To take on Primal Dialga. Do you think you can defeat Master Dialga? You're already wounded from our battle. You'd have, you'd have to be in perfect shape to even consider such an enormous challenge. You'd never win in the state you're in now. I already know that I won't win. What? Until Neon and Silas change history. Until the effects of changing history start to appear in this dark world. Until then, I want to buy them some time. That's all. So stay out of my way. I... I won't let you do that! Blast! Damn it! Still too weakened. Can't move. But Grovile can't just do as he pleases. Oh, so I'm going to be alone. In the special episode, In the Future of Darkness, stars Grovile as the main character. You will progress through the story with Grovile as the playable character. Well, let's see. Absorb, quick attack, leaf blade, dig. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Not very effective. Still nuked him. I have no items. So I'm going to assume this is going to be a simpler beginning. Hopefully. And I don't have any, like, knowledge of where any... Seeds are, I could use that totter seed. I don't know why I did that. But I worked good. <laughs> You'll team up Dusk Noir later. Yeah, kind of an enemy mine. I wonder why. Maybe because Dialga's like, that, that motherfucker failed. So I'm gonna send the Sableye to kill him. Maybe. This music... Super good. But this is this is interesting. But man, they have to hurt me this way. At least we're getting like closure with Grovile and stuff in the future. I just I wasn't expecting it. Will you stop that? <laughs> Give me your health. Give, give me your health. <laughs> give me your money! I think that's all the items on the floor, really. Oh, you bastard. Why don't I have non-sleep? At least I can heal through absorb. Try and catch me, cat. 
I'm not wasting my power points on you. Ooh, a special band. I'll go ahead and put that on. You bastard. I'm gonna use Dig again. <laughs> Do not trust Tustamo when he teams up with you. Of course not. This is already Mr. Liar Man. He's just like, oh hey, this is that. <laughs> like, I wonder why he decided to even bring, <laughs> like, my team to the future to execute us. Because it was literally, I think, if Dusk Noir just stayed in his lane and took Grovile back to the future and didn't mess with the hero and the partner, that he probably would have won. Because that means that D Grovile would have had to go back in time again if he managed to escape at all. And even if he did get back to the past and escaped, he would still have to, like, go on alone because nobody would be trusting him. So it's just like Dustnor kind of... He's so treacherous that he's stupid. Why are there chestnuts in the future? So you're telling me that rain can't fall but chestnuts can? What kind of fucked up dark world is this? Yeah, but the dimensional screen would show something. Yeah, but, like, even if the team saw with di dimensional scream, like, they had no way to get to the, the future to save Grovile. Like, at most, Grovile might have come back to the past again, and the team might see something through dimensional scream, but like that would still buy a lot of time because we were basically on the razor's edge of stopping Temporal Tower from collapsing and time going all wibbly wobbly. Which I guess, yeah, sure, I guess it's fair. Dusk Noir wouldn't know that. But, and I guess it was just a gamble on his part because he was figuring that he wanted to get all variables off the table and figured he'd get rid of one who tried to interfere with the hit changing of history once before. And I guess he figured, oh, this, this idiot will try to mess with time again if I don't get it, if I don't try and stop him. So I guess it was probably just a him hedging his bets kind of thing. But I do like this music. It's oddly chill for the dark future. I've come a long way. Just a little further. I was gonna say, why wouldn't he, like, look for Celebi, but Celebi would have had to run from her home where she was hanging out in the forest where Grovile knew she'd be, so kind of has no choice but to just head towards Temporal Tower because time's of the essence. He can't really wait about and risk everything. Because by Grovile's estimation, he thinks time is running oddly where the past and the future are kind of still moving asynchronous to one another. And that's why things didn't just automatically change. So he's just like, I have to stop Primal Dialga from doing things. Give me your- damn it. At least I have a Reviver Seed. Okay, the bullshit game! Why did my fucking bullshit not hit? Fuck you. 
What the fuck game? That is bullshit. Uh, you probably have, like, Fly or Levitate or something. That's not gonna work. But yeah, just like, if bullshit that I miss all my moves back to back, will you please fuck off? It's not fair game. I swear to you. If I'm surrounded by multiple enemies, if anything, I should get a bonus to being able to do shit. Of course there's a bomb trap. Why is it next to a wall? Please die. What is with all these misses? Fuck off. I deserve a free Master Ball if I miss, like, five moves in a row. How dare you, game. And Grovah wouldn't be able to get to the Hidden Land without the heroes, who wouldn't have trusted him without the future bit. That's also true. It is kind of a classical villain brings about their own doom kind of thing. All Dust Noir had to do was not bring the, the team to the future. And things would have been probably fine. But because he was like, I'm just going to get everything off the table. He went and caused everything to happen the way it should. I wonder if maybe a part of actual Dialga lived on in Primal Dialga's madness. And it was like, if I send, if I send Dust Noir, he'll do something stupid. And that will lead to time being good again. So it's kind of like a roundabout... ...like, future cycle. Which I think would be an interesting... <laughs> You'd think that with all these Pokémon who are, like, tied to time... ...that, like... That they would know something. I wonder how Primal Dialga came to be anyway. Come to think of it, actually, yeah. How did Primal Dialga even happen? I don't know. I should, oh yeah, I have, I have Quick Attack. I should be using that. I'm not used to having ranged moves. I mean, it's probably a ROM hack where you're the partner. That would actually be interesting. Where you play as the partner from this game. But I don't... Hmm. But I don't think much would change. Well, that's a very rude game. I'm gonna quick attack you. And I'll smack you. <laughs> and now I just had a weird idea. What if there was, like, a ROM hack where Grovile was the one that got yoinked away by whatever the hell that happened? And he got, like, devolved into a Trico. So, like, a Trico... Nope. 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 I refuse. I refuse. Goodbye. Good day. Nope. The, the fact that that exists in this universe? No! No! You are very mean, game. And of course the frickin' Shuppet doesn't activate it. Oh, you were a mean, game! You're a mean, bitch. You bitch. But yeah, to complete my thought... It would be interesting if there was, like, either, like, a fanfic or a ROM hack or something where Grovile is the one that got separated in the past, washes up on the beach again, maybe through shenanigans devolved into a Trico. And it's the human. Or maybe we could still even go if the human gets turned into a Pokémon. But they keep their memories, and they have to work towards the destru- like, the time gears. That might be interesting. Maybe. 
Oh, but that would actually change a decent bit because Grovile doesn't have the dimensional scream. Ooh, that actually could be interesting. Oh, but I really needed to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon today. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is like my comfort game. It emotionally destroys me. But it, like, it puts me into a good headspace. And today, there's been a bad headspace day. Brain has been a mean bitch. So we, even when I suffer through the game, giving me the good old one, two, three, you miss all your attacks, you get confused, you get beat down by these motherfuckers. Like, even after all that, it's just like, it's a fun time. What is with all the missing game? Please tap. For the love of all that is Jesus. You know, you piqued my interest. Now I want to see a Chimchar just being the one stealing the time gears. It would be very interesting. Like, imagine if there was a ROM hack where you could take, like, a pre-existing, like, ROM or save file and through, like, basically adding in a series of special episodes that take your save data. And uh, from that save data, the, the hero character that you played through the main game be takes Grovile's place in the special episodes. They have the like, dimensional scream, and it would actually be interesting, because the future human thinks that the dimensional scream is only relevant to time gears. So it would be interesting if the human, like, gets sent flying into the past, and is separated from Grovile. Grovile devolves into a Trico and teams up with the partner, and the human, who's now a Pokemon, is like, well, at least I don't have to worry about hiding who I was, if any buddy, if any Dialga agents come after me, but then they start getting dimensional screams, it's just like, this has nothing to do with a time gear, dimensional scream, why? I think I'm almost through, but it's still a ways to Temporal Tower. Mustn't lose any time. Grovile! How'd you catch up? I was positive you'd come after me, Dusk Noir. So, hello. Do you seriously intend to fight in the condition you're in? Ah, you're injured too. G Grovile! There he is! Over there! <laughs> <laughs> Grovile, I regret to inform you that the situation has changed. Sableye, your arrival is admirably timed. Be so good as to knock out Grovile. <laughs> oh, he's dodging! He's weaving! Ah. What? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> God! What is the meaning of this? Why? What do you mean by suddenly attacking me? Don't ask why. Just fight back, Dust Noir. What? Don't you get it? These guys, I'm not the only one they're aiming at anymore. What are you saying? Why? Why me? I don't know either. Believe me, if this goes on, we'll... Both of us will get knocked out. <laughs> oh, boss battle time. And I have, like, one totter seed. Oh, no. <laughs> It is likely that Dialga was still in Primal Dialga, because when you fight not fully Primal Dialga, Dialga is still there and looks like Primal Dialga. <laughs> the deception begins. I wonder, can I even control him? Nope. Let's see. I can't really do much. The most I can do is run here. And do some Leaf Blades. That guy was weak as fuck. Oh, and this guy's weak to everything. I 
And you missed. This is the, the this is the dark future where everything misses. Oh, and now you're out of your diddly D. Please die. Nevertheless, why? Why are the Sableye attacking me? Ha! Huh. They already abandoned you at the Hidden Land and ran off, didn't they? Why are you still surprised? Even so, the Sableye follow any orders given to them by Master Dialga or myself. Why they might target me like that? Because maybe Primal Dialga is Simpson, I don't know. It's just like, nah, I'm just gonna, he's doing a you. He's, he's taking out all the loose ends. Also, remember to stay hydrated, everybody. In the dark, darkness of the future, remember to stay hydrated. Kill God. I cannot think of an appropriate reason. Don't you think maybe Dialga gave them that order? What? What are you implying? Not possible! Absolutely impossible! There's no way! That Master Dialga would abandon me like that. There's categorically no chance! Sure, sure, but I wonder. You did fail to stop Neon in the past. Let's, let's read the reasons! Uh, sure, you captured Grovile and uh, the the few to the past team, but then you brought them here, which then uh, they they escaped under you, right in front of you, outran you, got back to the past, even when you set up a trap ambush with Dialga there. Then you went back to the past, failed to do anything, and even when you had everybody at your mercy, you still got your ass whooped, like three times. And then got pushed back into the past, so yeah, Dialga's probably just done with you. Hmm. Whatever. It's none of my business. Your little family spats are fine with me. Keep it up. I've got to hurry on ahead. See you. Wait. Why don't we call a temporary truce, Grovile? Would you care to accompany me? For a little while, at least. Excuse me? It's not a joke. I'm serious. But this guy, what's he up to? Is he going to pretend to work together? Then attack me when my guard is down? Don't worry. I won't attack you during our adventure. I would have loved it if he literally said, I won't attack you when your guard is down. Just to, I think it would be hilarious. Grovile, you're certainly cautious. From the moment you heard my proposal... I suspect you are already starting to be wary. Given my current condition and your understandable wariness, I would fare poorly against you. You did get, like, nuked by the Sableye, but then again, they all were going after you. And at least you didn't use my Reviver Seed. Or wait, no, I only had one Reviver Seed, so... Hmm. Meh. Who knows? Additionally, I want to know... Why did the Sableye attack me? We'll be stronger if we team up. We can make it through dungeons faster. The Pokemon in dungeons are affected by the darkness. I think you've seen how they've become more and more vicious. You're intelligent enough to see the merit in banding together. I know how strong this guy is. There are advantages to adventuring with him. I can't figure out what Dusk Noir's thinking is. But I think teaming up with him will be okay for now. Understood. Let's go. However, don't try anything funny. Because I will beat you down immediately if you do. Hmm. <laughs> As you like. Let's go. I wonder how long this little truce of ours will last. This is a... This is a funky beat. Once we're through this wasteland, you should be close to we should be close to Temporal Tower. Let's get a move on. 
Compose yourself. We need to prepare before we go. If you rush too much, you'll fail. Keep a leash on your impatience. Ha! Don't boss me around, Dusk Noir. And now we can access the future storage. Or I guess past storage. 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 But yeah, this is a bop. Think that we have big inventory now. This is some good music. Just out here, music. Hmm. I guess I'll take an extra diddly D. I guess a violent C just because we can. I know that I put Reviver Seeds in here. Did they not update? I don't think they updated. Sadness. Oh, wait, no, they're in the back. <laughs> there we are, because I didn't update the diddly D. I did not play the diddly da -de da I don't think I need to take too many apples with me. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in his mind as usual. Anyway, if I only knew why the Sableye suddenly came to attack, it would be clear whether he remains my ally, or if he were to change sides again and become my enemy. Up, well, let's save. And let's -a go! I have a PMD Explorer's headcanon that Dusk Noir is the Dusk Skull from Dusk Skull Bank. I've been making jokes, I think I made a joke like that once or twice. It would be kind of funny, but it, who knows? Because. It would be interesting to know how the timeline went originally. Because if time did crumble at the same kind of point that it was going to, then only a few months after the beginning of the game would time have crumbled into the darkness of the future. Which then makes one wonder, like, how would things go and function? Because... Like, ba ba ba. Because I'm trying to r order my mind here. Because it is like that. How like how would ev how does evolution work in the future? How do Pokemon live in the future? It's said that like Pokemon whose hearts have succumbed to the darkness and shriveled were like left out of the voting process for whatever that coalition of do we want to destroy the future for a better future. But like, where did the human originally came from? Like, how much continues when time is frozen completely? Because days and nights don't happen, the breeze doesn't happen. But enough has to happen for life to continue somewhat in this weird apocalypse. So it is, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Well, if you take something out of storage in the future, don't use it. It returns to the past storage and use it does the break time again. Well, like we know that time isn't like linear like that. It, if time was linear, then the moment that like, uh, Grovile came back to the future. Well, that's not good. But yeah, basically... Oh. Good. Thank you, Dust Noir. You can fight through walls. Ooh, does that mean that I can just send him to attack enemies through walls? Interesting. Maybe. But yeah, back to thoughts. Time isn't linear in Explorers. It takes t a bit of time for it to, like, catch up, as it were. So, it's, it's a weird thing where technically time continues to march on even if you're amid time traveling. So, it's just like, it's a, time travel's just funky and weird. Yes, use your power points, Dusk Noir. Weaken yourself so that when you inevitably betray me, I can kick your ass. But this is some good music. 
music to kick Dusk Noir's ass to. So yeah, I'm just wondering, how do things do? Because like, it is a funny headcanon that maybe Dusk Noir is the Dusk Skull Bank guy. It would be an amusing little thing to think about. But thinking at it like super duper, like, uh, pedantically, I suppose, it really wouldn't work timeline-wise. Not the... So you, you summon a bunch of cosmoses, and then you, you, you did nothing. You died. I stare into the cosmos, and then I fucking die. You know when I, uh, fuck, you know when I, uh, my brain, I do not know, it knocked away my special band, you bitch. How dare you. Not my special band, it's the most specialist band in the world. Gotta equip him. Ah. You know, when I thought, when Grovile said the name of the player, I originally thought that Grovile was talking about a far future version of the player, like an evolved version. Ooh, <laughs> that's actually funny because since my, like, uh, first rescue team character was a Trico, a part of me kind of joked, like, haha, what if it is far from the future? Yeah, that would be interesting if, like, the future version of the player... Like, like there's a lot of interesting ideas that could work with that. Like, there's, like, fanfic potential with that. Where you think that, like, oh, they're just writing a normal explorer's fanfic. And then it turns out, nope. This Pokemon really did wash up on the beach. And it's the future version. But again, it, that also depends on how the future works. Because they don't really tell you, like, how much quote-unquote time has passed since, like, the beginning of the game and then the far-off future. To let you know. Because again, enough time has... It's a weird thing where, obviously, Grovile isn't alive yet. We don't know much about Celebi. Celebi's a legendary Pokemon, so maybe she's been around for a long time. And it's just like, Dialga's a given. He's a legendary. He can't really die normally. is a ghost, so who knows. But Grovile and the human pretty much cannot exist at that point in time. It's also especially, like, obvious with, like, how the the, the partner, like, uh, the hero, the main character of the game, disappears after fixing time, where their future no longer happens. Thus, the circumstances of them being there, maybe even their birth, just absolutely gone. It's hard. To, it's hard to know. I'm replaying PMD Explorers of Sky because I left off on Chapter 3 of the Kecleon game. <laughs> the human is the true final boss. That would be interesting. <laughs> Looks like Grovile hasn't arrived yet. I'll run a report to Master Dialga. <laughs> that, that's hilarious, that animation. But that would actually be interesting because normal Dialga summons the human back from, like, Paradox time. So... Why not Primal Dialga summoning an evil version of the main character? G Grovile! <laughs> Master Dusk Noir! There's something I want to ask. Sorry, but you have to come with me. <laughs> Bullying the Sableye. Because actually, come to think of it, the human partner had to have survived in the dark future. But also that implies that the human exists in the far future. So that makes me wonder, is this like a human who was born in this Pokemon world to like human parents? 
Or did this human fall through space and time into the dark future, meet up with Grove Island like was team team time, and like I don't- the more you think about it, there's a lot of like things wiggling about in here. <laughs> Or like a spirit tomb with all the humans from the fallen timelines or something. To be fair, I think we can safely just kind of shrug away the human-made Pokemon. Like, if there's a Phantump, if there's a Yamask, like, yes, it is kind of like, oh, these Pokemon are made of humans. But in a Pokemon-centric world, you can kind of just shrug it and be like, well, I guess that Pokedex was wrong. At, or at least in this world, these Pokemon can exist normally. Like, I'm fairly certain you can breed Yamask. So, maybe? I don't know. I don't know the ethics of breeding ghost Pokemon. <laughs> Let alone ghost Pokemon who are implied to have previously been humans. I just think that, like, things like that, who knows? Because the final boss went into a... Sp uh, into a portal thingy, and Palkia destroying the portal thing with them inside, so they turned into a human. Is that spoilers? So that's spoilers, it's bad. <laughs> I know nothing about the post game. Hey, tell me, you're not after only me anymore. You're also attacking Dusk Noir, right? What's the deal? Well, <laughs> that's. You're a Sableye. Will you not follow my orders? <laughs> Bring this to mind. You know what happens when I'm displeased. <laughs> I'll talk! I'll talk! We don't want to do it either, honestly! To attack Mask of Dust Noir, it's just... It's the truth, please believe me! You didn't even finish your thoughts, Sableye. Then why did you attack? We were ordered to! We had no choice! By whom? Master Dusk Noir's replacement. Master Dialga's new henchman. A new henchman? <laughs> Who's it gonna be? It's Lady Weavile. <laughs> M my replacement. A new henchman? Yes, that's Master Dialga's direct subordinate now, instead of Master Dusk Noir. The Pokemon that was selected is very resourceful. And that Pokemon will become the final agent to be sent back to the past, Samurai Jack. Huh. That'd actually be interesting. If that, my brain is now going. It would be interesting if the final agent actually does get sent back to the past and they're like a post-game thing. So you could play through the post-game and be like, who the fuck is this? Or you could have foreshadowing through this. Resourceful. A final agent to be sent to the past. Could it be a corrupted Celebi? Maybe. Ah! Dusk Noir! That was who ordered you, wasn't it? The new henchman ordered you to attack me. Yes! Master Dusk Noir failed and so no longer is needed. So we were told to eliminate him. We all disagreed and said we couldn't do that, but... But that's what the henchman commanded. They're playing the pronoun game, leaving them in darkness. I mean, Primal Dialga doesn't want the future change, so... Uh, what about alternate timelines? So he could have trapped the souls of fallen heroes on alternate timelines, but that sounds stupid. Well, considering we kind of know, like, alternate universes exist... It's possible that alternate timelines also exist, but could be more difficult. Like, uh, and what I mean by, like, alternate, like, universes, we know they exist through the Pokemon multiverse through various games, but who knows. Yeah, Spiritomb exists, so... Again, it's one of those things where with these kind of Pokemon, like, we know they're quote-unquote based... On humans, like, oh, it's the trapped 108 spirits of humans. This Yamask is a human who died. This Phantom is a child who got lost in the forest. Like, and yet they probably exist in these Pokemon games. I think I fought some Yamasks, right? When was Yamask introduced? For some reason, my brain is telling me that I ran into Yamasks in a, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeons game. But I don't know when Yamask was introduced, so my brain is just mush. 
So, but then again, it could also be that, like, humans over time have fallen to the Pokemon world. So maybe that Spiritomb isn't 108 spirits, or did it mention specifically 108 spirits? I don't know. My memory is mush. Uh, Benchman said it wasn't his decision. It was an order from Master Dialga. Ah! That fool, Master Dialga. Eliminate me. Can you believe it? Something like that. Tell me, Sableye. That henchman. The new henchman. Who is it, anyway? That is... That's something I can't say. Forgive me. No way. Say it. Tell me. I'm not telling. If I told you, I don't know what would happen to us. So please. Please don't make me tell you that. Blast! <laughs> Master Dialga wants me eliminated. M Master Dialga, me. Dusk Noir. <laughs> Grovile, I know what you're thinking right now. You think me pathetic. Me. Laugh. Go ahead and laugh. Betrayed. Thrown aside. Ha. <laughs> <sighs> laugh or do what you like. It doesn't matter to me, Dusk Noir. What I'm really concerned about is that new henchman. A resourceful Pokemon is a final agent. What kind of Pokemon is this henchman, anyway? I've got a bad feeling about this. It's Giratina! We should really hurry to Temporal Tower. The only way left for me to go is... I've got no choice but to go to Temporal Tower. Whether Master Dialga really said to eliminate me or not, I can't be sure either way. I have to go to Temporal Tower, too. Boy Kisser. <laughs> A lot of Pokemon in this game seem to be headcanoned as Boy Kissers, don't they? I have to know Master Dialga's true intentions. Then again, isn't this the beast that doesn't even really talk? Like, how do you even get your orders from, like, da-da-da? So, that's a thing. We don't, like, because I thought Primal Dialga was meant to be, like, super raged out, like, barely on the cusp of sanity at the end there. So, in this far-off future, it should be, like, super doomed. Should not be able to talk at all, but who knows? Maybe he knows some kind of, like, unknown, like, what's the word? Sign language. He just summons unknown to speak for him. Let's go. For now, fighting alongside him is reassuring. However, Dusk Noir still looks up to Dialga. That hasn't changed. Now when we meet Dialga at Temporal Tower... Dust Noir will probably side with Dialga. Then I'll have to take on Dialga and Dust Noir by myself. Well, not just them. There's also Dialga's new henchman. So I'll have to fight three enemies. Can I do that? All those opponents by myself. What's wrong? Aren't you going? Ha! Huh. When that time comes, I'll be ready. I've decided to go. I'm just getting myself psyched up. Let's go. Ah, the destroyed entrance to Temporal Tower. We're here. This is the entrance to Temporal Tower. Temporal Tower, huh? Now that you mention it, in the past, Neon and Silas are also climbing up Temporal Tower, I expect. Neon. Silas, do your best. I believe in you. 
The rest is up to you. I need to play the good music again! The bells! In this world, I'll do everything I can together for the future! I do kind of like that they're playing the same music here. <laughs> Giratina is literally the forgotten child. Like, even though the poor, poor baby does get, like, a few, like, blah, 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 bits and pieces, gets some focus in the games, it is kind of funny that it's usually like, oh, Dialga and Palkia, they kind of pair off. Meanwhile, <laughs> Giratina, <laughs> off in the Distortion World corner. I haven't been here in a while either. Anyway, I need to find Master Dialga and ask what his true intentions are. Let's go on. Well, that's not good. Leap Blade! Damn it! Bastard. What is a fault to discharge? Die. I need to... Hmm, I wonder if I can actually control Dusk Noir. Like, at all. Because I want to disable that there Will-O-Wisp. If possible. I want him to use actual moves. Can I control you? I can! Now I find it kind of funny. It's like, hey, <laughs> Grovile just talking to Dusk Noir. You know, you could should probably not use Will-O-Wisp too much. And why is that? Well, you see, we should just kill them. Y your your Will-O-Wisp burn only does like a handful of damage each turn. Wake up. Die with a spoon in your mouth. Do, 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 do. I love the music. Also, I do kind of find it kind of fun. They're like, oh no, Temporal Tower is crumbling. And then we get here in the future. It's basically the same state to a degree. How dare you? Get nommed. <laughs> you have no more dig. I can no longer, like, what's the word? Ambush Dialga for his morning walk. Why is there so much money? in this future with no shops. I don't think I've even seen a Kecleon running about selling things. Every single time I hear the Time Gear like motif. That's what I call it because I think the first time in the game that you can hear the like motif that's in Dialga's fight to the finish in the hands of fate and stuff. I think begins in Time Gear. <laughs> I avoid items so much that I still haven't seen the fake item message. <laughs> Meanwhile, I like to collect items. I am a hoarder. Give me your money! No, no, no. Give me your money! Why does a ghastly even want money? He wants to buy a Freezy Pop to lick with his extra long tongue. And obviously, I don't know. My brain for some reason said this would be a dead end, but it's obviously not. Unless it does lead to a dead end and it's just like, no, oh, nope, it was actually led to the stairs. I, this is why I do not trust my brain. My brain's a bitch. I do also find it funny that, like, one of the major items in this game is the orbs. And yet they don't work in boss fights. Like, I understand why they don't, because if the, you gave the player the ability to use the orbs, the orbs would be able to do so much in boss fights. But at the same time, like, maybe just design uh, the orbs better. So that you can. But that's probably just a nitpick. 
granted a nitpick brought upon because I keep, like, using items because I'm like, oh, I'm in a fight that, like, could use an orb, and I have orbs, I'm gonna use an orb, and then, I'm like, oh yeah, wait, that doesn't work here, uh. I love the music. Why don't you just use the uh, super effective attack you just used, Dust Noir? You took one out in a single move. Why are you focusing in on your freezy punch? Damn it! Why does Temporal Tower have ventilation? So powerful it sends grown Groviles flying. Hello, hello. We are playing through the Dark of the Future special episode. Oh, that was a that that that, that, that was a ditto. What the fuck? Why are there so many? Why? What? 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 <laughs> what the fuck? Why were there so many traps? Back to back like that. What? And three of the same type? Uh? At least you didn't fall down a hole. Exactly, but I'm just like, what the f- What's that? Yeah, four traps. <laughs> ah. Why is there so much money in this future about shops? There are no shops, so nothing to spend the money on, and everyone knows that spending money deletes it from existence. So, by the fact that nobody's spending the money, the money exists even harder. I guess. <laughs> what is this, Red Re uh, Rescue Team Kaizo? Nope. This is uh, Explorers of Sky Expanded Sky ROM Hack. So that I could play a Zorawa at the beginning instead of an Eevee. I, I mostly did that because I figured, hey, I already played Eevee and Rescue Team. So why not go with a different Pokemon? But none of the other Pokemon really interested me in Explorers, like, uh, aside from Eevee. So I decided, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'll just go and uh, do this ROM hack that introduces a bunch of future starters and some fan favorites. And so I'm the Neon the Zorua. He's a fun time. Glare at Dusk Noir. He's a bitch and he deserves it. Uh, what would even a Rescue Team Kaizo look like? Well, that's not good. I shall protect you, Dusk Noir. So you can heal on your own. That's very mean. How dare you use the thing I'm weak to. You know, I felt stupid because I couldn't do the tutorial for Pokemon Ranger. I've yet to play Pokemon Ranger. I've heard good things. That's one of the Pokemon games I need to play at some point. Granted, because I have no real capture method, that means emulation, so using the mouse, I think, for the diddly dee. Like, 20 traps in one room. Oh. Yeah, I could see a Mystery Dungeon Kaizo being like, have all the traps. But at the... S mm. But at the same time, I feel like that would just condition you to, like, attack every tile to reveal traps. So I'm not sure how effective it would be. The way... The reason that traps really work like in this game is because they're just infrequent enough that you don't want to waste time just bashing away. Oh, but <laughs> Read my earlier chat. Oops, I have missed it. <laughs> I can't draw a damn circle quickly on a moving target, man. It's like that uh, Muppet thing of like pat your head and rub your tummy. Let's see. Da -da -da. Always for this Palkia and the true final boss going through the portal. The reason why I say the final boss turns into a human is because you as a human were attacked while going through time, and that turned you into a Pokemon. So the oh, I didn't know that. I always thought it was like 
Jirachi manipulating things, which I think would be hilarious from Bidoof's Wish. Then again, I think Bidoof's Wish was made after, like, for, yeah, because all the special episodes were made for Explorers of Sky. But then again, they also added a bunch of post-game to this game, too, so I don't know. Timelines! Da -da -da -da. Oh! Yeah, that kind of makes sense. If the an enemy attacked you while going through the portal and that made you turn into a Pokemon, and if the final if that enemy was a Pokemon, that would actually be kind of amusing. A Pokemon becoming a human and being like a big bad. That would actually be interesting. We've climbed pretty far. We're almost to the pinnacle. For some reason I think I've heard that said before. We're almost at the pinnacle. And there, that's where Master Dialga is. Hey Grovile. Once we've arrived at the pinnacle, do you plan on fighting right away? I don't know if it'll be right away or not. The second I catch whiff of trouble, I'm going to move in immediately to handle it. But before that, could you give me a little time to talk to Master Dialga? I want to know Master Dialga's true intentions. No way! If you want to talk to if you talk to Dialga, then you'll probably begin to side with Dialga. Besides, the new henchmen will likely be there as well. And then it'll be three on one. The chances of me winning are slim to none. Hmm. I, at least. I don't plan on making friends with the new henchmen. Fine. I won't fight by your side on the pinnacle. After you fight Master Dialga, and once you are defeated, I will ask Master Dialga. Huh. <laughs> Do whatever you want. I'm just mostly sad that we haven't seen uh, Celebi. Whatever happened to her? Luckily, I think she got away back when... <laughs> then again, that is kind of crazy that she, if she managed to get away because Dialga was right there. I won't fight by your side. You'll fight and then, yep. Just, I want to make sure there's no new dialogue. So the Grovile swap from earlier would be even funnier. Just playing as a human Grovile while a random Pikachu is stealing time gears. That would be funny. <laughs> like... That actually would be funny. Grovile becomes human. He's just like, what happened? I don't remember nothing. I thought I was just a normal Grovile. And yeah, then the human, just like, God damn it, Grovile, leaving me alone as a Pokemon. I don't even know how, like, I don't even know what to do with this tail. My dimensional scream is just going crazy. I got a dimensional scream telling me that some drowsy was going to attack a kid. It had nothing to do with the time gears. What is even going on? Celebi was in the forest, yeah, but she also ran away, so she wouldn't be in the forest anymore, if only just to get away from Dialga and, uh, the Sableye and everything. <laughs> Plus, she had to move the, the time passage somewhere. This is like a mini freaking monster house, how dare you? Why are all of my moves missing, you fucker? I want my money back. Why don't you have non-sleeper? I would like to play game. I would like to play game. I would like to play game. Me want play game. Damn you. I really dislike when the game just goes, you don't get to play the game anymore. What is with the missing, you fucker? This is why I like Faint Attack. Faint Attack just lets me actually play the goddamn game. There's been... I feel like I've had more misses right here than anywhere else. Well, at least I killed him. Imagine if counters, like, managed to, like, do damage through death. That would be just utterly evil. Why get two apples here? But at the same time, like if they did do something like that, 
where, like, if you have a counter up and an enemy attacks you and they kill you, your counter still goes off. That would basically be like a destiny bond or something. Oh, hey, a level up. Oh, what move can we learn? Bullet seed? Nope, detect. Would that actually be good? A protect status. A protect doesn't take damage from enemy attacks and moves and is also protected from effects of moves. Hmm. Hmm. Because... Dig is kind of nice. Or, or Oh, I don't... I think that's me it telling me that I can't get rid of Dig. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> At least you got an Oran Berry and, and an Orin Berry for, your, for trouble. I get the berry that heals, and I get the berry that hurts. But yeah, that's kind of funny that Dig is his signature move and it just won't go away. Hmm. I feel like I can spare Quick Attack, because... Detect, I think, will just be useful enough. So if we're in a bad in a bad shape, I can use Detect and not have to worry too much. It's just a nice little bit of protection. I wonder what this game would look like if it was done in like a 3D beat em up kind of style. Like, I'm not sure how to explain it, but like a 3D environment with like a free camera. I think you could make. Why are there so many of you? Why are there all the Porygon here in hell? What is with all the misses? Game. I am getting the bothered. I'm getting bothered by the misses again. I swear I haven't gotten this many misses. But then again, again, the, there's a reason I took faint attack. 3D game like Dark Souls. Well, 3D game like 3D game. I guess kind of Dark Souls-ish, I suppose. Because this place would be kind of dark and gothic and crumbling like a Dark Souls world. I gave an Anorith a Reviver Seed. Gave me a Black Gummy. I should have taken a pure seed! Let's see. Um... I have, uh, makes all, I, I use the full fear die. Jesus fucking Christ. Go after foes, murder them all. Dang it. This is so mean game. I swear to God, man. I need to move my things back. <laughs> Very mean of you to swap things like that, you bastard. I don't know why I do voices when I get angry. It also has the sin of taking away the awesome music and replacing it with the diddly ding. But thank God that I had the faux fear orb. But just like Jesus. All right, Dusk Noir, you can stop going after people now. Now they're just wandering the dungeon. I doubt they'll be too terrible. But, like, Jesus. And then a different Anorith gave me a Reviver Seed for saving it. It's almost like the Anorith was like, here, you can have your thing back. Will you please go away? I'm trying to go on with my day, you psychic motherfuckers. <laughs> also, seeing the Grovile swap would be a neat idea. I could see the hero just complaining about having a flaming tail. Yeah, just like... Plus, it would also be kind of funny, like, making a personality 
for the human turned Pokemon being the thief. So they're just like, oh no, the one time that Grovile could impart his wisdom upon me and I'd won it. Oh no, he has to go and fall through time and space. I become a Pokemon. I don't even know where he is. It'd be a very amusing situation to see play out. I'm going to note that down just quickly before I forget it, because maybe I'll make a series of one-shots or something into my random idea document this goes. Specifically, my random Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story idea document that is 12 pages long. I wonder, I'm surely other people have had this thought. This game has been out for a million years. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Just gotta put my thoughts down. There we go. Now my idea can never leave me. My idea is mine. Yeah, I think I have all the items that I want, so I'm just going to try and speed blitz this tower. What is with all the missing? What is with all the missing? Oh. Okay, we actually do. I don't care about the spurn orb. Arceus, damn it, Grovile, where the fuck are we? Basically. Or more just like, like, Arceus, damn it, Grovile, where the fuck are you? I don't know how to be a Pokemon, Grovile. <laughs> he writes his random ideas down. He is the chosen one. <laughs> Leveled up. I try to write down my random ideas if I really like them so that they stick with me. But I have, like, again, I have, like, 20-plus Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas alone. That's not even just counting the non-Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas. You are me. You're a mean one, Mr. Game. You continue to hurt me. At least that one time with the four traps back to back, it was three confusion-causing ones and one singular teleport. Bleh. Hello, Drowsy. Please die. Not Drowsy, Hypno. I just combine the Hypno and Drowsy together. They're basically the same. What is with the missing, motherfucker? What is why you? Why is your accuracy so fucked? Do you need glasses? Do you need a monocle, Grovile? Do you need contact lenses, you plant motherfucker? All right, made it through the dungeon. What you see over there is the pinnacle, Grovile. Got it. Let's go. Oh. Dialga lives in the pit where the Time Gears stand used to be. Nobody's here. Huh. That's very strange. Master Dialga is always over there. Why isn't Dialga there now? Sableye said that Dialga would send a final agent. But to send another agent back to the past, I expect it would take an enormous amount of power. To generate that kind of power, Dialga would have to hold still for some time. I thought he was in Temporal Tower. Your guess is correct. I thought so too. I thought so. That should be right. However, if he's going to send an agent back to the past, there's another method. Oh! Maybe Dialga felt that it would be more prudent to hunt down Celebi. So that they could use Celebi's passage of time and c take Celebi out of the action at the same time. Oh. Back to the past. Another method? 
That's right. If he needs to send the agent through time, Grovile, you should know what method I'm talking about. I should know what method? No, it can't be. The passage of time? Yes, the passage of time. Rather than wasting, waiting for Master Dialga to regenerate, they will most likely look for Celebi and use the passage of time to send the agent back to the past. I can imagine the hero having to get used to crawl if the Pokemon can't stand. Ooh. Or like, if they go from being just a human to like, Eevee or Luxio. That is what it is, Luxio? What's the Luxray, like, first evolution? My brain just mixes them up all the time. So it'd be like, I have, I have muscles I didn't have before. How does this work? I'm sure of it. Master Dialga probably left here to catch Celebi. D Dialga left to catch Celebi? But I don't think it will be that easy to catch Celebi. If it were just the Sableye, you'd be right. However, it is a different story if Master Dialga himself went to catch her. Shinx, that's it. My brain was like, ah, oh, Luxio, Lux Ray, it has to be Lux something. And that new henchman. I'm worried about their ability. Dusk Forest! I always met Celebi in Dusk Forest! Again, I'm still kind of interested in the fact that the Luxray tribe from Time and Darkness got changed to the Minetric tribe because they're like, hey, let's make Shinx a playable character in Sky. Celebi. Grovile. No matter what, she's up against Dialga. But we're most likely already too late. Shut up, Dusk Noir. She wouldn't be caught that easily. That's right. Celebi's not weak, but... As Dusk Noir said, she's up against Primal Dialga. And that resourceful new henchman, too. The last time I fought Duskmore in Deep Dusk Forest, we weren't too far from here. I think Celebi would be on the lookout and would have left there by now. Celebi. Celebi, I'm begging you. Keep yourself safe. On the one hand, a little disappointing that going through Temporal Tower was kind of a waste. I wonder if Quick Orbs work in fights, like boss fights. I'm gonna hold on to a Faux Fear Orb, thank you very much. And we have plenty of totter seeds to wreck havoc with. Sahave. It's probably too late. I've got nothing to do with whatever happens to Celebi. Grovile has to go and save his time-traveling girlfriend. Once again, we're just going to power on through as fast as possible because I don't want to run into another... Lickitung looks disturbing. Get spiked, idiot. And I need to rem remember that I have... Ba -ba -ba I have detect. So I need to you. Wait if all the misses. Damn it. All the misses are crazy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I was gonna test the thing, and then you had to. What is all the misses? There's so many misses going on here. Yeah. Wait, I. Wow, I didn't think Grovile cared that much for Celebi, considering that Celebi kept saying, "My dear Grovile, I there's something has to be going on." Bam! Get blasted, idiot. The new henchman doesn't exist yet. Primal Dialga is smart enough to make sure the heroes will trust them. I don't think it'd be that crazy. Because the henchman, or like the Sableye, said that they bup, 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 were told by the henchman with orders from Dialga to take out Dusk Noir. 
Although, timey-wimey shenanigans, who knows? Get blasted, idiot. Also, I'm fairly certain these, the Rhyperiors were not here last time. Aha, the move I didn't like was sealed. I am a god. It is, it is that crazy. Dusknoir is a filthy liar. But not that good of one, all things considered. Then again, it takes usually takes something to shock him for him to go like, uh her. So who knows? Maybe he actually is a good liar. How dare you zen head but me? I kill you. Plus I don't know. I feel like Dusk Noir would be too shaken up from potentially being erased from time if everything goes the hero's way for him to be able to act too, too good. Then again, time shenanigans. But again and again, I thought that Primal Dialga was kind of meant to be a little animalistic. So how can the animalistic monster be able to <laughs> plan all these plans? Now let's kill the Rhyperior. A little bit more experience. He told the Sableye to attack him. That feels like a little bit of too much forethought. Because again, considering that Dusk Noir is basically the cause of why everything went right by taking the main team to the future to execute them because like oh i'm going to take care of all the loss of the all the loose ends which then led to everybody teaming up properly to actually be able to fix time and space of which he then goes back in time to stop that and then gets absolutely bodied it's like i don't know I don't think that he'd be that. Wait, I forget. Will this even work? What typing are you? I'll quit doozing scary face on me. I'm gonna throw the steak off. Wait. I'll, oh, I was gonna do more testing. How dare you do that to me? You fight him this time. And of course it uses that. There we go. I'm, the corners always confuse me in these games. I wonder what I like, can and can't go through them. I do not understand them. He told the Sableye to attack him, he just says it later, later on. Hey, please keep spoilers down. I haven't played this before. Oh, thank God that missed. I'm not even sure how well that would work. Dragon fire. Is it more fire type or more dragon type? That one. Because if it's dragon fire, would it be more dragon or more fire? What would the typing be? Do dual type, like, attacks even exist? Because I know dual type Pokemon exist, but what about an attack that does, like, two type things at the same time? But I think that would lead to more math and could potentially be kind of wacky. Could be interesting, but could also be wacky. <laughs> Actually, Salamence is a dragon and flying type. I was mostly talking about the dragon fire move. Because <laughs> it's like, it's dragon fire. So like, which is it? <laughs> That's literally two types here in this Pokemon game. It's like having an attack be labeled Ghost Water. What does it do? No dual type attacks that I'm aware of. It's just like, it'd be interesting. It would probably be weird and maybe not work. 
Hey, Tusknoir, we're, we're rich. We can buy all the future from future Wigglytuff, who's selling friend areas. That, if anybody would survive the darkness of the future, it would be Wigglytuff. And all the people are like, go, Guildmaster Wigglytuff, why are you not going out there to save the world? Because that's not my job. Somebody else is destined to save us all. And they'll do it very soon. And then we're all going to die. Everyone looks at Wigglytuff horrified. Hmm, a stamina band. Why are there so many motherfuckers up in here? Get Shadow Sneak, idiot. Damn it. How dare you use Protect. I'm gonna throw a stake at you. Somehow items get through. I wonder why. That kind of makes it amusing to think about. Like, I'm going to use Protect so none of your attacks will hit me. It just brings out a sword. I'm not gonna hit you with a move. I'm gonna hit you with a, my sword. I'll give you all the perfect apples if you do. Wigglytuff would become unstoppable. <laughs> Wigglytuff? What the heck? Why so morbid? Because he's in on it. He heads up the coalition of, We're gonna go back to change the past so the future's good, which does mean we're all going to have to die. But oh well. <laughs> Is this it, Grovile? The place you met Celebi? Yeah, that's right. It's quiet. Was she already captured? Was she already taken away? Or maybe she sensed danger and ran away from here. It's possible she outwitted them. Maybe she's still hiding somewhere nearby. Could be any one of those. There's something strange about the air here. Celebi. She probably already left. <laughs> I knew it. They brought me right into their trap. Dust Noir. Dialga's new henchman is just as crafty and wicked as you are. I am Master Dialga's only henchman. I can't allow anyone to take my place. Here they come. Oh yeah, that little animation is from the opening. Oh, that's kind of a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> from the opening. I'm gonna kill you with this desk I found since my moves don't work, basically. You bastard. I'm going to detect. You're just gonna waste all my reviver seats, aren't you? Alright. Leaf Blade. Thank God that I have my detect. Leaf Blade. I wonder if I should have ordered Dusk Noir to run away. Well, uh, have an Orin Berry, Dusk Noir. Don't take all my Reviver Seeds. I think the Sky version of the opening cutscene also shows Grovile on the back of Lapras as well. Huh. Please hit. Thank you. Alright, at least I can grab my special band and kill you. Get out of here. Woot. PMD feels like, I'm gonna kill you with the power of friendship in this rock I found. Especially because rocks are ir unironically good in these games sometimes. Get slashed, exactly. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> grab. <laughs> we gotta reuse that grab animation and make it look good. Oh, uh, you're squishing me. Tell us, what happened to Celebi? Where's Dialga? Uh, M Master Dialga ran off in pursuit of Celebi to 
Frozen Island. Frozen Island? That solitary island to the south of here? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Beat it. <laughs> Frozen Island. Is it a different land? That's right. We'll have to move across space. How do we do that? Don't worry. If we follow the cliff south from here, the Porygon there will send us across space. Let's go. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to use next? My 50th rock. Exactly. What is it? Oh, it's nothing. It's just my arms. I feel like I've regained the strength of my arms. Now that you mention it, earlier when he was punching around the Sableye, that incredible power, there's no mistaking it. Dustnor's power is growing stronger than ever before. I wonder if his wounds have significantly healed. <laughs> my strength. My strength is returning. Please don't betray me. After. At least betray the henchmen before we get there. Is that the very least? Dusk Noir. The least you could do is beat up the guy who took your your job. Took my job. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks the Sableye looks like Stitch? Kind of. They have a similar body type. Blizzard Island Part 2. This is the entrance to Spatial Cliffs. Once we pass through here, we'll come to the place where the Porygon live. Celebi and Dialga have already gone to Frozen Island. Let's hurry. Some music at play. Oh, wait, we also have to put in a, one of the, like, plane seats, because we used one of... We're down to one reviver seat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Things are getting bad. It's all because of Dusk Noir. Used up all our reviver seats. This is some bopping music. Get out of here. Oh yeah, I also need to put on my... Ba -ba -ba, my special band. Because it got knocked off me. I still think that's a mean move for this game. Please be a reviver. It's an eyedrop seed. Sadness. Get out of here. Might as well move along. Need to balance. Like. Well, that's extra mean. How dare. Oh, this is super mean. They're all coming from the goddamn walls. He's in the walls. He's in the goddamn walls! Spatial Cliffs, will we get to see Palkia? I feel like Palkia would have tried to do something about Primal Dialga. Then again, who knows? This is the far off future of Doomsday. For all we know, all the legendaries are just sitting around twiddling their thumbs. with all, all of the everything. Why do you keep doing that, jerk? Payback is a mean move to give the enemy. Good job, you killed him. That's primarily why I was waiting. And 
Insomniscope. Kind of amusing that Insomnia is... Like, the Insomniscope is one of those things that kind of gets, like... What's the word? Like, replaced by the no-sleeper or non-sleeper, like, uh, IQ skills that you get. You're very mean, you know that? Die. So many ghost types up in here. And just a, a, the islands of money, I guess. But I wonder why the... The ba ba da ba The Porygon are just, like, ferrying people across space. Do they just think it's their job? Give me that money! I guess we can... Ah, we'll come kill you. How dare you use explosion? I shall heal off your corpse. If all the legendaries are sitting around twinning their thumbs, why in the name of Arceus is Arceus or any other legendary Pokemon doing anything to fix Dialga? That's true. There's literal God up there, and he's just like, I'm not going to do anything. Like, at least with Rescue Team, it's kind of like a Ninetales and Gardevoir, the ones that seem to bring the human to the world. So there's kind of like something there. Oh boy, pain split. <laughs> Luckily, I had no pain to split with you, you stupid idiot. What a maroon? You maroon five? Give me that money. Get out of here, coughing. How dare you not die? You bastard, I take your soul now. Through the power of pollen, your soul is mine. What is with all the missing in this special episode? What is with all the missing? Why is there only pain for me? Please die. Don't, don't you dare use payback before I get to the stairs there, you mother... And another totter seed. We have gotten five billion totter seeds. Why? And a power band. I mean, Palkia probably chills in a pocket dimension and none of the other legends are quite as powerful as Dialga. Maybe. Because, I mean, we know Celebi is actually trying to do something in the future. So... Meanwhile, Jirachi is just asleep in his cave, probably. Rayquaza's up on, like, a cloud. I wonder where Mewtwo is. He just kind of seemed to exist in Rescue Team. I am the most powerful Pokemon. Are you gonna do anything? No. Nom. And what is this Chesto Berry? I don't know what... I keep forgetting what some of these even are. Sleepless status. Huh. I wish that I had, like, the item sniffer ability so I know how many items are on the stage so I know I can leave. I'm gonna throw this at you. I need to do that more. Since I'm not going to pick it up, I might as well use it. What do you do, Scanner Orb? Ah, oh, there's only one other item. That's actually not a half bad thing. Like, not really something that I would bring into a dungeon for. A quick orb. 
I'll probably swap out an orb for that. Let's see. Boost critical hit ratios. I'm never going to use that, I don't think. So, yep. Quick orb for me. <laughs> Go to adventure, full staircase. Ah, another apple. Let's eat the apple off the ground. Ground apple. And what's this one? A petrify orb. Only useful, like, in specific situations. All right, we made it through the dungeon. Ah, normal power gun. Wah! M Master Dusk Noir. It's been a while. The reason I've come here, I bet you can guess at what I'm going to request. But that's difficult. We're being held back by Sableye. And behind you, Master Dusk Noir, is... Are you saying you won't listen to me? We'll do it, we'll do it. This way, please. Very scared, aren't they? <laughs> I also accidentally turned Apollo into an item that was an apple. I wonder if the... You just have a history of accidentally hurting your partner in these games, don't you? No idea how he was brought back to normal. I don't think there's ever any lore about the item swap orbs that are like, this turns Pokemon into an item. I remember there being, like, a, apparently a story that somebody wrote, like, as a plot, like, a, a mini plot arc was a Pokemon that was turning other Pokemon into gummies with the item swap thingy. Nightmare, ain't it? Well, then, we'll transmit you to Frozen Island. Don't move. <laughs> Like the Power Rangers. I always thought Palkia was more of a girl. Hmm. For me, I think Giratina is more... girlish, but I don't know about Palkia and Dialga. I don't know. In a way, they're almost kind of androgynous. This is... Frozen Island. Before time stopped, it was called Blizzard Island. Are we just going to find Scizor as well, frozen eternally, and he can't get out because the ice can't melt? Now that the world has plunged into darkness, it's much more severe. It's become closed off. So, where do we go then? Hey, Snowrunt. What was that? It's the Snowrunt. I believe they live around here. Hey, wait a minute. I have something I want to ask. I think you would have noticed if anyone other than us came through here recently. Did you see anyone? Have they all just evolved? If you've noticed anyone, anything at all, please tell me. It's really important. Did you understand any of that? Angry little bastards, aren't they? Glock! <laughs> this is the dark future where everyone is a bastard. Ah, uh, they're no help. They're just teasing me. The attitudes of the Pokemon living in this world of darkness are a bit warped. Grovile, I suspect you know better than anyone else. I know I don't really know where it would be best to go. However, I believe if we follow the path that lies ahead of here, it would be best. I suspect the Sableye will have laid other traps, so we should proceed with caution. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> if Frostlass was kind of a, a bastard, why not the other... <laughs> the, 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 the unevolved form of Frostlass? Yeah. I swear the guild's probably the tired of me and my partner accidentally fainting each dungeon. Or fainting each other. <laughs> it's like, are they really a team? They seem to hit each other quite a lot in there. If this place is frozen in time, would it still technically be cold? Who knows? Time manipulation is weird in this world. 
Like, I swear, we're probably gonna get hail in there, even though it's supposed to be frozen. Like, it's already frozen right there, you see, in the screen. But it's probably gonna be mean. And be like, and now it's hailing as an effect. How dare. I suspect the sable eye will have laid other traps, so we should proceed with caution. Yes, I see. However, the ones we met, if we see them again... However, the snow runs could tease him like that. This guy. Sometimes he can be so innocent. No, that's why his heart is not influenced by the power of the darkness. Kingdom Hearts is light! Put away so many things. Gonna keep that faux fear orb just in case. And I guess put away maybe. Oh, I, I ran out. I can't put away anymore. Oh well. Well, I wonder if this will be the final dungeon. We're nearing two hours of playing this. Let's continue. You hit your head on frozen hail. That'd be one way of doing it. It's just sitting there, frozen in space. And we just run into it. This is an interesting tile set. Kind of basic, but not bad. Get critical hit, idiot. Make it like three hours by the time you finish. Probably. This will make it like the longest. Oh, that's what that is. And now he's dead. Alright, leveled up. Level up time. This is some interesting music. Really gives good vibes. <laughs> Honestly, although I was in shock when I turned Apollo into an apple, like the Crusher scene from Monsters Inc. <laughs> it's really long, but probably my favorite episode. It does have like the most going for it. Like Bidoof's Wish is a nice little thing. Today's Oh My Gosh is kind of interesting. Team Charm seems kind of divorced from most of the game. And, uh, what was the other episode? What was it? My brain is... bleh. Well, that's not nice at all. Because it's today's, oh my gosh, Bidoof's Wish. Oh, Igglybuff. Igglybuff the Prodigy was also really good. So basically, this needs to... Well, that's very mean. How dare you? Leave the Moe alone and die. Oh boy, Reviver Seed! Yay! Don't you dare lose it, like, as soon as we get it, Dusk Noir. It just... I think the only... Do you stop with the traps already, you bastard? But I think, like, uh... The only reason that this will probably beat out Igly Buff the Prodigy is because... It has direct stakes in the story. With characters that we know about, but it's like taking place in the future, literally. Will you please let me wake up? Please let me wake up. Please let me wake up. I'm very annoyed, game. What the fuck? I hate you. I'm gonna use a roar and bear, you bastard. How dare you? Why would you even do that? You did it just to annoy me. It's like it knew it was gonna die. I'm gonna knock your, your special band off. Why would you do that? Because I'm a bitch. We need to get to Celebi. But we can see her. Of course you can do that, you bastard. 
and level up for Dusk Noir, which probably is not good for us. He may very well betray us by the end. Or maybe the power of friendship will win him over, and he'll actually help us. Probably not, though. Thank God you missed. I take your life now. The one thing I don't really like about this episode is it has a really slow startup, but everything from there is great. Eh, slow starts can maybe be nice, because there was kind of just them mucking about in Temporal Tower, wasn't it? Because while it does make sense narratively for them to go to Temporal Tower to try and confront Dialga, is a bit of a time waste, really. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody, here in the dark future of evil. Get staked, licky licky, you vampire motherfucker. <laughs> like, I don't dislike the opening, it's fun to see him interact, exactly. I wish there was more, like, slow moments like that and sometimes, like, the two post-game dungeons that we've done so far in, like, the main bit were fine, but I do wish that there was more interaction between the partner and uh, the hero. Some dialogue, just something, because it does feel like it just kind of doesn't happen, which is sad. Quit it! Quit knocking off my scarf! Why do you even have that move? Why does it exist? <laughs> it purely exists to make them a bastard. Why? We're also very rich. <laughs> I swear the game just likes to see me make mistakes with my partner. <laughs> The average, like, angsty romance fic. We already have special bands galore. It's my special band. I can't have my brand. I have special eyes. Look, look with your special eyes. My brand! I don't even really know what that's from. I just know the quote. There's so many traps in the future. In the deep darkness of the future, there is only traps. If time stop, there's no water anywhere. You can't walk on on the ocean floor, because the ocean's now a void. Then how do they drink here in the future? How do they hydrate? How do they eat? If you can touch frozen water, well, frozen time water, who knows, maybe you don't even need to eat or drink in the future, because, like, there's no decay or anything. Again, my previously idea thought that, like, you kill enemies in the future, and they just stay there, non-decaying. We've climbed pretty far. We will reach the peak soon, it seems. Yes. However, I don't know what lies ahead for us. Be prepared. Be prepared. We're going to go kill Mufasa. How do they eat food without the sun? Well, all the food that was already existing probably doesn't, like, decay. So there's probably just as much food as there was at the end of time. It's just that now... All the food is dwindling. You're very mean. Please die. You metal motherfucker. 
Again, this is very nice music. If time is stopped and everyone's still moving, does that mean that everyone is infinite speed? Eat your heart out, Sonic the Hedgehog. But why, though? I should have faux fear orb in here. <laughs> I won't quote you said it's from the Songs of War bloopers by what was uh, once Black Plasma Studios, but they have a different name now. Meh. Interesting. I don't even know what that is. At least we sent all of them running away, so they can't gang up on us. But very rude. This at least means that we can knock them out relatively one by one. Still very mean to send this, m to send a monster house after us. We only just got here. I'm gonna send a spike at you. How dare you? Please die. What is with all the misses, you motherfucker? What is with all the misses, you motherfucker? I am very annoyed by repeated misses. You are very frustrating, bitch. Die. At least I can heal through the damage. For the love of God, please. <laughs> I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, depends on when you stepped away, because... Right now, we're looking for Celebi on the Frozen Island because Dialga has taken to chasing Celebi to use the path of time, passage of time, to go back in time, send his final agent back through time to try and stop Zoro Ami and Silas from fixing time. It's all very wiggly woggly. Oh, yeah, we also triggered a monster house because the game's a mummy asshole. But luckily, we managed to have a fear orb on us, a faux fear orb, so we didn't have to be too terrible about things. Oh shit, that was his, like, best move. Why are there so many tanky motherfuckers up on here this road? I'm gonna use detect so that you... I use that at the perfect time. Because I just know that that would have immediately have been my death. Reviver Seed, you are mine! You are mine, Reviver Seed! Mine! Alright, what's gonna happen? That has a shadow, so I feel like that's gonna fall on us. It seems like this is the pinnacle. And it looks like the trail ends heads down the mountain from here. It should be much easier. Oh, I was right! Grovile, look out above you! What? Ah! I knew it. The moment I saw the shadow, I just kind of joked, Haha, it's going to fall on me. And then it did. D Dusk Noir! Y you protected me? Why did you protect me? Are you all right? Uh, never mind that. Look out. They're coming. Oh, the fuckers. Oh, double fuckers. These guys? Glalie. 
They have the power to do whatever they wish with ice. But... Gogi! Gogiki! But looking at them, they seem to be so influenced by the darkness that they've lost themselves. Seems like they've become more vicious. Gogigigigi! Ha! <sighs> We're gonna have to try and take these guys out. Don't believe that they are only these guys, Grovile. What? Oh. What? There's all hell in here. He's a... He's a Mamoswine. Among ice types. Mamoswine are said to be the strongest Pokemon. Oh boy. Here they come! Well, we got ambushed. Uh, first things first, I'm going to try and use one of these quick orbs. Please work. That's just mean game. It's not a normal diddly D, it's one that affects me. Why are orbs useless? I feel like that's just a bit rude game. All of you died. Man, that's just... It's, it's so rude. I understand that I can't use orbs to affect the enemy. But it is very rude that I can't even use orbs to affect myself. Ah, good, he's surviving a bit this time. I'm going to give you another Orin Berry. Stop dying. Luckily that totter seat has lasted a long time. Huzzah. Thank you for just missing all of your attacks, dear enemy. Well, fine. Oh, good. He broke out. Good for you. And he still missed. Okay, thank you for attacking me and not him. Another for you. Who needs reviver seats when these guys are predictable? Ah, <laughs> 69. Nice. Quit bashing me. Oh, jeez, I'm 15 minutes behind, so if you told me I missed it... Oh! Time dilation. Time is an illusion. <laughs> Go, Gigi! And then they ran away. Or did they come back to their senses? Nope, they just run away. Go, Gigi! Looks like we've driven them away. Gah! Ugh. I think I was injured by that chunk of ice. Dusk Noir. I think it would be smart if we hid for now. There's a crack in that ridge over there. Let's go. Time to save. Save completed. I think this should be fine. Even if the Sableye come, they won't find us. Let's rest a while. We'll head out again after a short time. Grovile, he's... I've noticed his amazing judgment and leadership ability when he was working with Neon and Silas. He made it through a lot of tough situations. However, his strength and endurance, he has a strong will and doesn't believe in failure. I wonder where all that came from. By the way, that time, when that chunk of ice started falling straight onto my head, you better not do a flashback game. You better not do a flashback, I say. <laughs> Don't tell me you were trying to protect me. 
It's a misunderstanding, Grovile. Let's get this straight. I really despise you. I really didn't want to help you in any way. Still, I protected you. Because I believe I need your strength right now. To take out that new henchman. Are you saying I should help you? To take down the new henchman, that is. The new henchman is the final agent. Even if I hadn't asked you, you were going to challenge him anyway, weren't you? In order to take on the new henchman, you and I should team up. Depending on the situation, we may need to defeat Master Dialga as well. That situation would be ideal for you, I believe. Why would you want to take down Master Dialga? How are your wounds from that chunk of ice? Uh, they're nothing to worry about. And compared to earlier, I appear to have regained much of my strength. The damage I received from fighting you before is much more intense, even now. <laughs> if you can come up with a load of complaints like that, you must be fine. We'll head out in a little while. But first, something I wanted to ask. What is it? Grovile, you... You... Why do you fight so hard like this? Before you, you said it was for the future. You said you fight for a new life. But if you do, you'll disappear. Your existence will end. For me, that sort of thing, I cannot bear the idea. To make myself disappear, I will not allow it. With all that said, why do you fight so hard for such a goal? Dusk Noir, I understand that you don't want to disappear, but me, this is what I think. Even if we were to disappear, even if I were to disappear, I wouldn't truly disappear. What? Everything ends eventually. Even if history is not changed. Even if the world of darkness continues in its current state, eventually the day will come when I won't be here anymore. Since that's the case, the timing of it doesn't really matter. The important thing is not how long you live. It's what you accomplish with your life. With your life, with your life, what you accomplish. While I live, I want to shine. I want to prove that I exist. If I could do something really important, that would definitely carry on into the future. No, not just into the future. In Neons and Silas's future, too. My spirit has become a part of them, I believe. In them, my spirit is alive. And that spirit could be passed on to others. And so, if I were to disappear, I think all that I have accomplished will go on. That is, that would mean that it's living, right? Even if I disappear, I still live on. My spirit is alive. That's poignant. That's that's poignant. <laughs> he said the line. That's very poignant. We've rested enough. Shall we go? That that's very that was a good scene. Also, you're killing it with the voices. Thank you. I'm glad that I'm doing the scene semi-justice. Um... What? The hell? Those ice pillars stand out in places. At the top of those pillars, there's something placed there. They're crackling with electricity. This is a strange place. Kiki! Kiki!
It's... Who is it? Relax. He's different from the ones we encountered before. I know. I wasn't looking for revenge or anything. I want to talk to him. It's useless to talk. You'll just end up with another painful experience. But there's no trail, so we have no other way. Hey, you! Wait! Don't run away! I just want to talk. If you know, please tell me. Before us, did anyone come through here? Oh, them! Yeah, I saw them! A bunch of scary-looking Pokemon went through here in a group! They were Sableye, I think. <laughs> Dustnor's like, this motherfucker speaks! Uh, is that true? Where did they go? They went that way! They went into Icicle Forest! Did you see only Sableye? No, it wasn't just Sableye. Now that you mention it, the Sableye were carrying a Pokemon. It was pink and very pretty, that Pokemon. Celebi. Celebi's already been captured. Any other Pokemon? I believe there should have been a Pokemon that looked much stronger than the Sableye with them. Um, let me see. Well, what? Convenient. Uh, interruption. And all that art is good. The pillar's electricity has gotten pretty intense. <laughs> hey! It looks like it's calmed down. Why was it laughing? Why was it laughing? Hey, what is it with him all of a sudden? At any rate, Celebi and the Sableye should be up ahead. I couldn't get Snowrun to confirm it, but there's a chance that Master Dialga and his new henchmen will be there. Yeah, that was our first clue. We won't let them get away. Focus and let's go. This is some intense music. And uh, no room to swap things out unless I want to destroy things. At least we have a decent amount of Reviver Seeds now, I think. So we should be decent. Anyway, Celebi and the Sableye are up ahead. The chances are high that we will see Master Dialg and the new henchman too. Ready yourself and let's go. Well, let's see what weirdness lies ahead. <laughs> Throw apples at people! Get them to my side like their <laughs> Guildmaster Wigglytuff. And this is some very nice music. Again, it kind of reminds me of, um... Ba ba ba. Tales of Symphonia. A favorite of mine. What is with all the missing? I am very hungry! I am very upset. I am angry. I'm gonna kill God. I killed him with food comas. That could be one way. Uh, they're blunt. They should do some damage. Maybe emotional damage. Throw a ripe tomato at him. This music is getting intense. I hope Paul Celebi's all right. I long to see. Ah, another another tartar seed. Not tartar, totter. How dare you use the power. Now you will die. Get ice punched, cactus man. Why is there a cactus in the frozen wasteland? That guy deserves to die. He needs to be stabbed with an icicle up the ass. Just as, just as uh, the, that one Jojo would have wanted. Uh, 
Huzzah for critical hit. Good job, you murdered a guy. I'm gonna throw this at you. Oh, you're you're alive. Very angry. I keep mixing up the ones that are like, this will do no damage, and the ones that are just like, this will return the damage multifold. I am getting so many apples, I do not need apples, I need reviver seeds. Once again, it's taunting me. It's throwing an apple at me. How dare you? If a game's OST is amazing, it will be remembered. Maybe. There are some games that are almost purely known for their soundtracks. Please, please be... I keep, once again, I keep forgetting. Please die. Reviver Seed? Totter! Why are there so many Tata Seeds? There's so many of them. Oh no! Oh no! Could it be that that glitch that befell Mount Bristle is now affecting this dungeon? Oh no! That's the old. This is the second dungeon that it's happened in. Hopefully, it's a diddly d. Ah, I can return. I can continue from here. Special episode. That's very weird. Because now it's basically RNG. Because I don't know why. Because I thought we were safe, primarily because that glitch only happened on Mount Bristle, but only on subsequent playthroughs. So basically, the only way to do it is to brute force it to the end of the dungeon. Because... It's a random roll of the die, it feels like. I don't know what causes it. Because again, it's been relegated only to Mount Bristle, but only after the story mission was done. And seems to happen on random floors. <laughs> save a save or something. That won't really help because the it seems that the entire dungeon is calculated upon like uh, you entering the dungeon. So even if I made a save state every single step of the way on every floor, it still would hang on the same floor each time. So we can the only thing we can do is rush through it as fast as possible to try and brute force our way through the RNG because we don't know what causes it. The one downside of me not having like bubble bub. A 3DS capture card or something. Granted, even if I didn't have an emulator of uh, that, I would have been wouldn't have been able to play the bubba ba. Expanded Sky Ma uh, ROM hack. Blah. <laughs> I mean perfectly legal copy, Nintendo. Oddly enough, apparently the Pokemon Company doesn't seem to mind ROMs all that much and emulation stuff. From what I hear. Which is actually kind of funny. Yeah, we just need to brute force our way through this hell. And hope that that is the singular one that happens. Hello, Ditto. Would be funny if it was like a Ditto was the henchman. The ultimate henchmon. 
I don't know why. But no, they w it wouldn't be because these games don't really reuse Pokemon for story stuff. And Team Charm already had a ditto play a role. So another ditto playing a role in the story is very unlikely. <laughs> Pray to Arceus, basically. Please? Every single floor, <laughs> say your prayers. At least I'll be able to include that in my bug report when I comment on the, the ROM hack. I need to do that. I keep putting it off because brain. <laughs> okay, that Gengar set up a payback and immediately got blasted. Please. Every single time we enter a new floor, just clench your sphincter and scream. Apparently I'm very close to the top. I... Well, that's very mean. What the fuck? I'm sorry, did you just fucking do, like, two attacks in a row, you bitch? That should be illegal. No using our reviver seats in here. Okay, good, you nuked it from orbit. Another motherfucker. We have to kill him now. Ice punch that bitch. Pop the balloon. Send it flying into space. Another Tartar Seed. <gasps> Every single time, the, the heart attacks are gonna come back. Because for a while there, uh, when I first ran into this issue back in Mount Bristle, Every single time I went up a, a staircase following that for a while, I was like, oh my god, oh no. <gasps> okay, good, we brute forced it. It was only that one. <laughs> Damn it, Dust Noir, stop trying to die again. Whatever made you a ghost the first time? Looks like we made it through. I think the Sableye are up ahead. Let's proceed with caution. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would rather not to go through that again. Yeah. This is some nice, like, location art. The spiky, curved, well, spikes. The pink lightning. This is, it looks like the deepest parts of this ice-covered forest. Over there, I can see a remarkably large ice pillar. There's a mysterious feeling in the air. Is that... Egad! Grovile, look! Over there, just past those four huge pillars. Can you see anything? Yes, I can. Looks like someone's lying there unconscious. Come on! It's gotta be Celebi. To lure us into a trap. Ah! That is... It's the fucking Spiritomb! No, no, no. Spiritomb is... I guess Spiritomb did beat Grovile that one time. When I'm trying to remember something, Bone Trussle plays in my head. It's only the starting part. Yeah, that's relatable. C Celebi! Celebi, can you hear me? It's me, Grovile! Is someone holding you back? There's an odd keystone nearby. That means... Spiritomb! <laughs> oh, I don't want to do the voice I gave you before. <laughs> Spiritomb! You! Why have you done this to Celebi? <laughs> You're wrong! You're wrong! This was... This was not our doing. Don't lie! Explain why Celebi is like this. You've done this to me before, so I know it's you! Besides, if you didn't have this, have if you didn't do this to Celebi, then who else could have? What was that? W what? 
What is this sensation? Why? I don't understand why. Every nerve in my body is bristling. This is a bad sign. My instincts are screaming out that something's very wrong. But where is this feeling coming from? <laughs> You're wrong! Please believe us! What is trying to tell me? This overpowering sense of dread. What if I fail to understand? What am I wrong about? Grovile! Celebi, you're awake! You! You sure picked a strange time to wake up! If we'd let you flee, we... Let Celebi go, Spiritum! If you won't hit, let her go, I'll knock you out! Don't make me use force! D don't come near! We did it! <laughs> my strength! I'm losing my strength! This is... Um, we can go now, right? We're all done here, so we'll just be on our way! But behind Grovile is Dusk Noir. We can go, right? What? What are you saying? Ah, the bastard planned this bitch. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Spiritum. Remain with us a little while longer. <laughs> Tusk Noir, you! What's going on? Listen. Grovile, Master Dialga's new henchman. From the start, it was never revealed. What? Everything, everything has gone according to my plan. This icicle forest is a special place. If you're hit by the electrical discharge of these ice pillars, your spirit will be melted away. It was surprisingly easy to get you to stand in the center of these four pillars. That's where the power is most concentrated. Yet my spirit will be melted away. My plan, elegant and useful, it's this, Grovile. I lured you here for this purpose. After your spirit has been melted away, I will use your body. And in your place, I will return to the past. What? If Grovile goes back to the past, Neon and Silas will be so incredibly happy. Don't you agree? They won't be the slightest bit suspicious. They will accept you as their friend. Sadly, the two innocents will be unaware of one flaw in their happiness. The body will be Grovile's. But the consciousness will be me. How did you plan this? How did you plan all this is my question. Everything we've done has been in preparation for this. The new agent, in fact. Grovile. It's you. <laughs> no. No. Just no. This can't be real. I mean, when did you plan? Did you... And I returned together to this world from the past. There wasn't any time when you could have told this plan to the Sableye. So how did you? No, there was time. That time. When we returned to this world and saw the Sableye the first time. Sableye. <laughs> Grovile. They found me already. I've got to get out of here as fast as I can. But Dusk Noir was still unconscious then. I thought I was the first to, of us to wake up. That was incorrect. It was the other way around. Dusk Noir regained consciousness before I did. So I woke up first and talked to the Sableye. This plan of his. <laughs> I told you. Yes, you did. You throw a lot of spoilers at me. Shame on you. <laughs> it's taken you long enough to catch on, Grovile. <laughs> <laughs> Grovile!
while. <laughs> You've been in my way the entire time. And now, your time is up. And when I inhabit your empty shell and return to the past, it will still be the child's play to take down Neon and Silas. Give up now and let your spirit be melted away. Now, come on, Grovile. You can, like, power a friendship through this. Your, your spirit lives on. Ah! Oh, was I... Was I too trusting? I thought I could, but I believed you. That's right, Grovile. Your weak point is that you're too kind. I've said it before. Allow me to repeat it for emphasis. I really despise you. Even when I shielded you, I was simply going according to plan. You... you coward! <laughs> You can babble whatever you like. In the end, you have lost. You've lost because you trusted me. No, I don't believe that. I wasn't wrong. I, I still trust you. Do my ears deceive me? <laughs> you say that even after all I've done. You still have trust. In me. Yes, despite that, I know what's in your heart, does Noir. We had a moment of understanding. <laughs> then we had nothing of the kind. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure as sure can be. While we were on our adventure, when we were pressing on through the dungeons, surmounting all challenges, while you were behind me. At some point, I sense that your feelings of hatred vanished. What are you saying? That's impossible. I meant what I said. I despise you. That's all you sensed. I ask you to remember more carefully. It's not just something I sensed. I'm very cautious. And even with caution in place while we were on this adventure together... I trusted you, because I could sense your spirit. A spirit of loyalty. I can't believe Dusk Noir was Rainbow Dash. I could clearly sense your spirit. Your... your shining spirit. Sh shine Shining. My spirit. This actually is kind of poetic because... My team name in Rescue Team was Team Shining. <laughs> You pledged loyalty to Primal Dialga, so you're trying to protect this world of darkness. But that just comes from the desire not to disappear. But really, for you most of all, is that enough to survive like this here? Is there any honest happiness in that for you? The meaning of life. Think of what it truly means to live, just Noir! What it truly means to live by meaning. While I live, I want to shine. I want to prove that I exist. If I could do something really important, I would definitely carry on into the future. No, not just into the future. And Neon's and Silas's future, too. My spirit has become part of them, I believe. In them, my spirit is alive. And that spirit could be passed along to others. And so, if I were to disappear, I think all that I have accomplished will go on. That is, that would mean that it's living, right? Even if I disappear, I still live on. My spirit is... Alive. Even if I disappear, my spirit is alive. Please remember, Das Noir, what I sensed in the dungeon that time. Your shining spirit. A 
my spirit. There's nothing that... Nothing shines like that. You're... You're deluding yourself. Master Dasnua! Are you alright? Shut up! Am I... Has my spirit become a part of others' minds? Then... Gulvile's existence... Only... It's too late now. Master Dasnua! <laughs> Sableye, it's the same for you. Haven't you ever thought of the future or a new life? Giving in to Primal Dialga and living your whole life in darkness. Is that truly what you want? Sableye, what does your heart tell you? Your sense of self-respect. Where has it gone? Where? <laughs> The electric, the electrical discharge is getting stronger. Can't hold on. My strength, my strength is draining away. By the way, the music in the background is called Living Spirit, a good name for a good song. If this goes on, Grovile can't. Spiritum. <laughs> you can't let this happen. You can move, can't you? Do something. <laughs> They had they made a special frickin' portrait for it. It's no good. My vision is going white. My spirit is going to melt away. My consciousness is fading. My consciousness. My spirit finally fading. Come on, Spiritune, you have 108 souls. You can sacrifice one of them. You can become a rock. Oh. Oh, it's Dusnoir. He did it again. I guess that, that icicle was foreshadowing. Uh, uh, uh. Dusknoir. <laughs> Master Dusknoir! Master Dusknoir! Rescued Grovile! <gasps> this is... Grovile! Are you all right? Uh, uh, barely. D Dusk Noir, you saved me. And here comes Dialga. Oh no, he is gonna be pissed. I doubt he'll have anything to say, but he'll be very angry. Oh, he's actually here. Master Dialga. He is very angry. Quack! Master Dasnoa! It would be hilarious. Oh, Jesus. I was gonna say it, was, it would be hilarious if Dialga got caught in the pink lightning. Quack! Master Dasnoa! Master Dasnoa! We must protect him! Let's go! <laughs> okay, that's kind of hilarious. Zerg rush, Zerg rush. For a moment there, I thought they were just going to be obliterated to pieces. <laughs> you uh, need to move my body. It won't do what I tell it to. Is it just beating the crap out of Dust Noir? <laughs> <laughs> my my paralysis is gone. Dialga, stop! Don't Celebi! Oh, oh, what? 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 What's no? What? What's happening now? What? What's happening? What? what? That art. That art this needs. Do, 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 do. Blah, 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 blah. 
I set up a different, like, setup. And this has to be. This has to be shown. Because... Look at that art. Look at that art. That is very nice. That is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very good. So let's go on. What's that? Things changed, right? And that's not supposed to happen. If I remember right, that's called an aurora. A wind. A wind has started blowing. And up in the sky, there's an aurora. That means the sun. The air started moving. The paralyzed planet has started to move again. C could it be? History has finally changed. You did it, Neon. Silas. Dialg is not going to let that... Oh, were you the... the snow runt the whole time? Or... I did... What's happening to the bastard? Dialga! Primal Dialga has become more ferocious! He's throwing a temper tantrum. Hee! <laughs> He's just blasting randomly. And then he's just gone. Master Dusk Noir! Don't worry. I'm fine. You took multiple just bitch slaps from Primal Dialga, who was just pissed off at you. <laughs> and like a time roar. It's more important to follow... Master Dialga, the rest of you, take care of Grovile and Celipe. Hurry. And the, I wonder if the Sable are just like, Do you think by take care of he means kill, or... What do you think he means by that? It would be cool if we just had an army of Sable Eye following us. At the same time, that would just nuke my Reviver Seed store. Did he really go this way? Yes! There's no mistaking it. Master Dialga was enveloped in this light, and then he vanished in the direction of this awesomely vast mountain. I do like that they are going out of their way to show movement of the wind, to just emphasize, yes, time is moving again. And yeah, that aurora would be awesome framed. It would be very cool. It's hopeless. What's wrong, Celebi? At the pinnacle of this mountain, there's a passage of time. You know it's strange? Even though I was caught, I never said where the passage of time was. Master Dialga went into even more of a rampage. He's no longer acting rationally. Maybe his instinct, pressed by his increased ferociousness, made him head for the passage of time. It could be, uh, he's so insane now that he's just, I sense time disturbance, I go. If Dialga were to hit the passage of time while he's not in his right mind, what would happen, Dusk Noir? If that occurs, now that the world has finally started to move, I don't know what would happen. We need to stop him quickly. The light has gotten much brighter, huh? The sun is rising dawn is near. It took a long time to recover. From here on, Grovile and I and Celebi will move as a group of three. Excuse me. Bleh. We need to fight as hard as we possibly can to stop Master Dialga. But on the other hand, we'll be far less mobile if we bring the Sableye along. If we're not in time, then that's the end. Understood. All right. Let's prepare, and then let's go. Master Dusk Noir! Grovile! Celebi 2! What is it? We're ready to. For the future. Master Dialga needs to come to his senses. Yes, I understand. This is the final fight. We must bring Master Dialga back to his senses. 
That's right. This is what I've been fighting for all this time. Just a little more. Huh? What was that? Don't tell me. Don't tell me this is... Huh? Grovile, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. A part of me is now thinking it would be kind of cool if, like, Zoro and Neon flashed back to, like, this time after being pulled away from Temporal Tower to help out in the fight, but... I just know that that's the <laughs> Grovile almost, like, beginning to break down, which is just like, Neh. Final dungeon theme, Vast Ice Mountain Peak. Neon, just a little more. Everything we've done so far. Just a little more, and we can achieve our goals. Until the end where I disappear. Lend me your strength, Neon! And we just can't do anything. But we can save. Final Sabe. But it is interesting that they brought back Sableye for that. Celebi, I never thought you would be caught like this. Oh, I didn't imagine that I'd get caught either. I really didn't think Dialga himself would come after me. By the way, I didn't think you'd be coming back to this world, Grovile. I was worried that you had failed again, you know? <laughs> but I got to see you again. I'm so happy. I saw it, Grovile. The light that emanated from your body earlier. Tell me, was that a sign that we're about to disappear? I knew. I should have known. I guess there isn't much time left for us, huh? But the shorter the time is, the brighter the radiance becomes. Anyway, all we can do is live life to the fullest within our limited time. Once you're ready, let's go. Please, Grovile! Please help Master Dialga come back to his senses with Master Dusk Noir! I'm growing tired of this world of darkness, too. If you could change it, you could bring a brighter future! I've had the desire to change the world for some time now, but it's hard to be brave. Mood. We're ready to accept. What will happen to us? Please, Grovile! Stop Master Dialga! For the future! For the future. Let's go. Man, I'm tearing up already. Let's see, what kind of orbs do I have? I'll swap out this radar orb, because just in case, just in case. Fun fact, time didn't start moving until Dust Noir saved Grovile. I guess because since time is kind of wonky, it could be that time sensed that when he saved Grovile, that made it so that, Gro uh, like, uh, Dust Noir would not go back in time in a Grovile skin suit. So, time finally started moving again. Because time is wonky and weird in this world. Oh, you fucker. We need to kill this motherfucker. You use Parish Song, you die. You need to die. You need to die. Be gone. But this is some nice music to go on to the to the end for these beloved characters. This is an awesome epilogue kind of thing that's going on here. Three Pokey, you are now just mocking me. This music is so good. Well, that's very rude. I had to maneuver carefully. Oh, that's... You're a fucker. 
We need to get out of here before it perish songs again. I don't know what perish song does in this game. Oh, it's an Absol! And now you have to die. I'm just sad because I like Absol. Like the Absol that joins you in Rescue Team. Absol is one of my favorite Pokemon. It reminds me, I still need to draw more Absol so I can, like, draw my Sylveon self with his imaginary Absol boyfriend. I don't know why Brain decided on that. It just did. I do not control the rate at which lobsters die, neither do I control the rate of Brain. Why are there so many apples? I could do with some Reviva Seeds game. I, I understand that the game is trying to be like, oh, hey, you can have an apple so that you don't die of starvation in this here dungeon. But still, game, yeah. At least I have so many totter seeds that we'll be able to totter Dialga for five billion years until Dialga then decides that he just won't be affected <laughs> by the totter seed for a round and then Nightmare comes. <laughs> hey, Apple! Hey, Apple! Apple! Well, looks like we failed. Don't look, honey. That's like... I don't know why, but that ASDF movie clip just lives in my brain. Eternally. I don't even know why. Why? Paris song is bullshit. If I kill you, does the Parish Song go away, or are we just fucked? Nope, we're fucked. That is a busted move. Sure, it seems to have like a ro uh, like a very low rate of actually hitting, but the fact that it seems to be hit once and hit everything kind of move, where basically if it hits one thing in the room, it's guaranteed to hit everything else in the room. It's just like... So it's not even attacking Pokemon. It is attacking the room. That's evil. Selby can bring everyone back. Is that because she moved her passage of time? She need... Actually, that'd be kind of funny. In a way. If, like, Selby just keeps bringing them back. It's just like... Where are you getting these Reviver Seats? Don't worry about it. I hate these Confusion Spinnies. Thank you. I just need to maneuver carefully with my three team. I just love this music. The music's so good. It's one of my favorite things with, like, RPGs. RPGs just have such great music. This is so good. I'm gonna throw a spike at you. And then I'm gonna cut you with my, my... I'm gonna give you a paper cut, but with a leaf. How do you think of that? He still chuckles evilly when he levels up. But also, I just gotta say, I am here for the Dusk Noir, like, redemption arc. I am here for it. I am here for the Dusk Noir redemption arc. Because it's kind of neat <laughs> that, like, Dusk Noir, like, began like, oh, he was, like, oh, he's a great explorer, but then he was a lie. But now he gets to be a great explorer, but for real, in these final moments of life. The music is incredible, with an incredible voice actress incredible at playing the game. Thank you! I would say I'm not that incredible at playing the game. I just get lucky, I think. The ones that remains with me. Looks like you got a nose, pipe, lay. <laughs> oh yeah, all the SDF movies. There's so many, so many SDF movie clips. <laughs> Another one that sticks with me is, you're gonna die, kid. We're all gonna die. Just sadly lowers gun. <laughs> and then there's, I, I forget the exact line, but it's just like, like, 
I'm gonna punch you, but it's opposite day. Oh no! You're getting mugged, kid. No, you're getting mugged. Ah, how the hell does that even work? ASDF movie is just a funny little thing. It may not land all the time, but it's just a funny little thing. Ooh, uh, I thought it was going to be a Celebi level up so I could see her level up dialogue. Please? It's another fucking tortoise seed! It's like the game is corralling me. They're like, hey, uh, you need this. Hey, 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 you need this. You need this. Hey, you need, you need, you need to uh, totter see Dialga to death. <laughs> the peak of early 2010s humor. That's up there. It's the one that comes to me the most out of a lot of 2010s humor. While I don't remember near as much off the top of my head, I, like, uh... Markiplier from that era is also just hilarious. Oh boy, okay, halfway point. <laughs> Celebi, we've climbed pretty far. Where is this? Is it much farther to reach the pinnacle? No, not at all. The pinnacle is only a little farther. I've been thinking about what could have happened, since we haven't seen Master Dialga so far. Right. I think he may have reached the pinnacle already. Let's hurry. There's some music. <laughs> There's a magical pony flying through the sky. Shoot it down. At the pinnacle, we'll find the passage of time. As long as Dialga hasn't destroyed it. There's a good chance that Master Dialga is already at the top. Hurry. We have to go. And I just realized... I haven't made that many lewd jokes. Probably because we haven't had Celebi with us all this time and we're not uh, the main team. So there's not the possessiveness of like, get away from my boyfriend, you bitch, that there is with Zorwan Neon and Silas. Oh my, this... I'm hearing the motif again. The motif that is in everything. The Time Gear motif that I think plays a prevalent role in Dialga's fight to the finish. Ah! Motifs and repeated themes hurt me. <laughs> Dusk Noir ex Grovile. At this point, it's more like a polycule of Dusk Noir, Celebi, and Grovile. Ooh, I should have brought some fucking pure seed! I don't think I have a good item for this. Never mind, I have a faux seal orb. Makes enemies pause. Petrify. Alright. I think we'll be able to take them out one by one now. Actually, Petrify Orb seems to be pretty good. <laughs> oh, are my allies not attacking enemies that I don't attack? That's cool, that's good. <laughs> the thruple to choke out Time God. Exactly. Okay, petrification is actually really good. Oh wait, you have levitate, so this won't hit you, will it? Oh no, it does? What the fuck? Why do you not have levitate as a skill? <laughs> Backup has come to die. You bastard. I eat you. Well, yeah, it's just mean. But 
But yeah, Petrify Orb, God Tier. God Tier. Hero and Partner is a cute thing. It is the ultimate OTP. Hero X Partner every single game. At least for me. I can understand plenty of people who would just like to go, Oh, but they're the perfect friends. The ultimate platonic I'll die for you kind of love. Me, though. Certified bangers. Could be from Stream Desync, but it's like, oh, it does. What the fuck? This killed me, and I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> did something kill you in your runs of the game right now? We need to find the exit, or Selby's gonna fucking die. My fucking power band! A special band. It's my special band. They can't have my band. I have special neck. <laughs> oh, dang it, that's a dead end. And that is indeed the exit. Damn it. Salaby, why are you not fighting? I guess you can run. <laughs> this monster house is kind of big. Monster houses that are ginormous are evil. <laughs> Girl Violex Hero is nice too. Maybe. I could, I could see that working. Shame we don't see much of them. Yeah. Alright, before we move on, I need to give an Orin Berry to Celebi so they don't fucking die and waste one of our Reviver Seeds. No, but it made me laugh real hard as I'm dying 70 times in my game and I died as you said that. <laughs> Ain't it that? That's just how it works. Please let me get my turn first. Thank you. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Good job, Celebi. In fact, you can have this here defense scarf so that you die less. And let's just move, march along. Now I'm imagining, like, an interconnected multiplayer mystery dungeon. Where, like, multiple people can be on multiple floors, like somebody can fall through a trap and fall to a previous floor. And then I think I just powered on to the pinnacle. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. I knew it. I knew you had already reached the pinnacle. Primal Dialga! He became Mr. Krabs there for a moment. Are you all right? Yeah, but... but Dialga... He seems to be in pain. Yeah, he's experiencing a paradox. The planet's moving again. It seems to be hurting Master Dialga's darkened heart. Celebi, look behind Dialga! We have Celebi with us. Shouldn't she be able to knock him out of being a shadow Pokémon? Yeah, the passage of time! It's like a big old door. What are you trying to do? Go through it? It would be very dangerous if the passage of time were to be damaged. But this area... Just little by little, this area... It's becoming brighter. All that animation. The wind is stronger. Yeah. Even Dialga's disappearing. Oh! There's a light emanating from Dialga's body? From all of us. Our... Our bodies too? Here we go. History is being distorted. History distorted? Ah, the end is coming. It's getting close. What? Until we disappear, we should do everything we can to bring Dialga back to his senses. Oh, for the future, our fight. This is the final one. 
Neon, Silas, please lend me your strength. Our final strength. Let's go! Dialga's fight to the finish it just came on at the perfect time. I love it. Beat on the Dialga. This is such good music, too. And I do enjoy that it's playing again here. Love it. <laughs> Totter time, God, fall to our items. And we did. We killed him easier than we did. Oh, I just realized something. I don't think that he had Intimidate. Or does Totter Seed get rid of Intimidate? KK! Are you gonna die as yourself, Dialga? Oh, we all collapse. My body. My body's heavy. But we did it. Yeah. We finally defeated Primal Dialga. Daybreak is near. Now. Now we can only wait. Here. For the end to come. The end is coming. We're fading. Dialka. Dusk Noir. Oh. Celebi too. Grow vile. Grow vile. Please tell me. My, my life, did it shine? Yes, extraordinarily. I am glad, I, I am, up to the very end, not wavering. Honestly, I lived because of you, Grovile. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, I, I have no regrets. God, I, I'm actually crying. I'm actually crying. Dusk Noir. Ah! The end. Me too. Me too. So slowly. S Celebi. Oh, that's sweet. Celebi, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. This is, oh, it's the morning sun. The sun is up. Can you see it, Celebi? It's the morning sun. This, this is, is this the morning sun? I, I had no idea the world in which the sun rises. It's so beautiful, the sun. I had no idea that it could be this warm. I, being able to see the sun before the end, and being able to see it with you, I'm really glad that I am alive. I'm really glad. I am too. 
Goodbye, Grovile. I... I... I'm so happy. God! God! Oh, that was so... Ah. Uh, oh, God. And the thing is, there's a possibility that they don't come back. The game could be a total bastard about this. But all that, that was... Yes! This is what I want! Yes! <laughs> I don't care if people are like, oh, it's cheesy, it's wonderful to me. Ugh! Uh, uh, we're still here. I, I didn't disappear. Why? Th that is true. We're not disappearing. I thought if history was changed that that would be the end. So, why is this? Oh, I'm still tearing up, man. We... We... Truly... Are still here. Wonderful! I don't know why we're... Why we were fading and then didn't disappear. But anyway... Everyone is alive! Everyone is safe! Isn't this just an amazingly wonderful thing? If this happened, does that mean this was a miracle? Can we say that? No, it was no miracle. Hey, Dialga! Dialga! Master Dialga! For a very long time, I saw only darkness. And during that time, the world became filled with chaos. M Master Dialga, I take responsibility for it. Now that things have been resolved, I'll support this new world from here on out. Oh, so alternate universe time! <laughs> Look at the art! This is... Master Dialga's telepathy. Look at the sky. Look at the sky. He's fixing the world. Wow. The, the land. The land it turned green. Such... Such a beautiful scene. This is Dialga's... This is Dialga's power. Master Dialga. Dialga. I have something I want to ask. Earlier, we did not disappear. You said it wasn't a miracle. But was it thanks to you? No. It was not me. I don't have the power necessary to stop you from disappearing. Then how did you stop Zoroa, me, from dying? However, a being higher than myself that being's power could have done it. This was surely that power at work, I believe. Arceus finally gets off his 10,000, like, handed ass and does something. And so, I must express my gratitude. It's wonderful that you've returned the world from darkness for me. I'm truly, truly grateful to you and the ones who stopped the planet's paralysis in the past. Your friends. Th that's right. We... We're still here. Neon. You too. I hope you're safe as well. If you didn't disappear either. 
Are you still alive? And Silas, you, the fate of Pokemon of the future when you changed history, my fate and that of Neon. I expect you'll find out later, but right now you're, what are you thinking? The wind, the light, this music, man. If you can carry my message, please send it to Neon and Silas. Thanks to you, the future has been freed from darkness. And I, I heard that motif again. And we on the other side, Pokemon in the future, are safe. We didn't disappear. From now on, we're going to combine our strengths and rebuild this world. For Celebi, who has supported me all this way after this. Above all, we are still alive. Neon, Silas, can you hear me? We're still alive! Oh, oh, that was great. Oh, that was great. My sole mission is to reunite with Grovile in the post-game. I don't think I'd see that happening, but if it did, oh, that would be amazing. Like, even if it's just like a Trico implied to be Grovile, I think I would take that. Their past selves vanished and came to them uh, to the new timeline. I don't think so, because they, like, Dialga specifically, like, said this new world. Almost implying that it's, like, its own pocket timeline ferried away by Arceus to, like, keep everything together. Oh, but that's fantastic. Th this is fantastic. This was a great, great. <laughs> I love the delivery on We're Still Alive. Thank you very much. I'm still tearing up, man. I'm still tearing up. This is a fantastic epilogue for Grovile, Dusk Noir, and Celebi. And again, this music. But yeah, like, this honestly feels like it's almost integral to the story almost as a as a, like, epilogue. Because it does so much to, like, cap off <laughs> everything. Also use the question mark, question mark, question mark jobs from Hidden Rank. Oh, that, that was so good. That was just... So, so good. But that, that's just such a good epilogue. That, like, that's to me. It's not even a special episode. That is a special epilogue. Although I think I'm, yep, storage is too full. We're going to have to d delete things. Uh, delete things in storage. Because I have a ton of things in storage that I don't really care about. Well, first things first. Uh, make sure it's all done. What things should I... I should, maybe I should get rid of, like, some of the... Well, I guess we can get rid of the Sky Gift, so I'm never going to use those. Then maybe I should get rid of some of these, like, swap items, because I have a lot of extra, like, swap items that I don't really... Like, a lot of them that I'm not going to be using. We're going to keep those Rialu Tail. They're very important. Welcome to uh, management. <laughs> we need to... Manage. But I do, again, I still don't understand why... Jesus Christ, why do I have to be scanner arms? But, like, I wonder why the game doesn't let you use, like, self-buff orbs during boss fights. I think we're gonna... Because petrify orbs are actually kind of useful. Then again, that's a lot of fucking petrify orbs. <laughs> 
I really need to... I wish that I could do this whenever, because I would like to get rid of a ton of these. Because... Jesus. I think I could just get rid of... Let's see, is that enough? Is that enough to... I don't think so. Nope, I need to discard more items. Oh, oh, now I can put things in storage. Just in case. We don't need all those apples. I already have five billion apples. We don't need those plain seeds. But yeah, I find it hilarious that that one totter seed also just held on through the entire time. Yes. Let's see, is there anything else? I guess I'll throw in a bunch of apples. Nope, that's all. Alright, please discard. Give up on the treasure bag items. I have no need for them now. <laughs> Delete them all, exactly. <laughs> oh, you'll get a new location, and it will burn up after reading. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. They do allow the use of most orbs during boss fights in every game after Explorers. At least there's that. At least there's that, man. That's all of the... For now, because... I No, actually, I think that's it. It. I don't think that there are any more... Uh... Ba ba ba. I don't think there are any more special episodes. Which, honestly, I am fine with. Because that is the perfect special episode to end on. It is the great epilogue. It is a very, very great epilogue. And I'm very, very happy that they made it. It, it almost feels like it completes the game. Almost. It, like I said, it is the perfect epilogue to the main story, and it's just fantastic. Just utterly fantastic. I love it. Still, a little bit of heart attack there when the... When that one dungeon decided to have the Mount Bristle hang. Uh, most because you're not allowed to itemize or orb the bosses. Like, I guess that is true. Like, with these games, I guess it was simpler to just classify no orbs can be used during boss fights rather than select these specific kinds of orbs can be used during boss fights. I guess that's understandable. It, like I said, easier to just turn off an entire thing rather than pick and choose and worry about the programming freaking out and deciding that the thing that you didn't want to go through actually does get through. Meh. But yeah, itemizer, I don't really use itemizer all that much. I don't even think I've found that many itemizers, I don't think. But yeah. Just a perfect epilogue to the main story. I'm so happy that they made the special episodes. Because really, I enjoy all of them to varying degrees. Bidoof's Wish is cool because it kind of adds a nice bit of flavor to Bidoof himself, as well as how Silas or like the hero and partner come to the guild. Today's Oh My Gosh is kind of nice because it's kind of just like a day in the life of the guild and their everyday issues and stuff, and I like that. And it, like, adds a bit of flavor to, like, oh, we're, we're telling scary stories, and then Silas and Neon are there as well. That's just neat. And then, like, uh, buh, buh, buh. Igly Buff the Prodigy, that's a fantastic one. Igly Buff the Prodigy is the perfect origin story for Wigglytuff. Here comes Team Charm seems a little out of left field, but at the same time, it's still very nice. It's still very nice. And then that right there, in the dark future, the perfect epilogue to the main story. I'm, I'm very happy they let that one breathe, like it was the main story there. They, they treated it really, really well. Again, all there, I am there for Dusk Noir Redemption. Because he's a cool character. And I kind of like that they brought back some, like, brought in a bit of ambiguity to him. And a freaky frickin' idea of burning the soul out of somebody to wear their body 
their still living body to get close to their friends and kill them. Horrifying. And then... Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. What else? What else? I do like that the Sableye got a bit of personality there. That the, uh, the Sableye are, like, very, very trusting and loving of Dusk Noir as his little posse. And, uh, again, super happy they brought in Celebi again. And, like, the custom sprites they did for this situation... The music, the scenario, the ending there while they were disappearing. I, I shed tears. I literally shed tears while I was doing Dusk Noir's disappearing lines. And just the utter beauty of Grovile holding... Grovile holding... Celebi as they were fading away and the mountain was shaking. It's just, it was so good. Oh, yeah, I also love Grovile's entire, uh, like, all the speeches. The speech that he gave to Dusk Noir in the cave, and that speech at the end about still being alive, may the wind carry my words. It's just, like, so good. So good. Such good writing. And I'm just so happy that they made that as a special episode. Whoever uh, get, got the idea to do special episodes, and whoever decided, hey, let's make one of, like, the five special episodes we do, let's make one of them an epilogue for the future trio. Love it. Love it all. And yeah, it, since Arceus hadn't been... Yeah, because Arceus hasn't been revealed yet, timeline-wise, when... In 2009, when this game was made. Although I think I do remember there being, like, ooh, the Arceus statue at the end of a big dungeon, I think. So he's kind of being hinted at, similar to how Lucario... And Munchlax were hinted at in Rescuers, if you got to a certain point. So that's kind of interesting that there, they're kind of hinting at the greater power stepping in for a bit of kindness. I like that. But yeah, this, this is very nice. This is very, very nice. I love that. And I can't wait to continue the post game, Because again, I know that there's like a few post game things that have a bit more story to them and aren't just legendary go kill but we'll have to do the uh, the secret rank stuff we'll have to do more we're <laughs> we're gonna have to get so many more reviver seeds guys <laughs> when we get back we're gonna have to do so much recycling we're gonna have to do things but yeah i can't wait to play more this is amazing i love this i love it so much the next stream that we will be doing should be on wednesday 5 p.m central standard time because i am trying to keep my stream schedule Normal, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Once again, thank you very much to the people behind the Expanded Sky ROM hack. It is a fun time, even if there is that weird repeated glitch that I, that chased me all the way from Mount Bristle. Yeah. I'll definitely need to make an account there just to say, like, hey, I ran into this issue and it haunts me. But, yeah, I, just, I love this game. I love this game. The music, the characters, the stories... Literally, so far, my only gripe is the post-game is still kind of leaning towards my least favorite part of post-gaming in a, a, in a Mystery Dungeon game. And I wish there was more input from the partner or the hero during the missions. Just a little bit more. But who knows? Maybe we'll get some more like that next time. We'll have to wait and see. Wait, this, this is just fantastic. And I'm kind of happy that that special episode lasted as long as it did because it basically lasted a full stream which is a nice stopping point it was very good where are you in the post game we just saved uh scissor and uh attained the secret rank which allows you to do clandestine jobs for the like explorer federation which i just find hilarious if, as a secret agent of the C Guild Federation, you get to do illegal operations. At least that's what it makes it sound like, but it's probably just like, yeah, we are the Federation, we're monitoring this scary situation. Uh, send in our specialists. They beat up Dialga, they can kill this god. But, yeah, if you want more things from me, I have a link tree in the... Uh, linktr.ee slash Neon Icywings with a direct link to it being found in all the link places, bios, descriptions, that the various sites 
you can find me on. And that link tree has links to all the things that I do. Edited content on my main YouTube channel, streaming at Twitch and YouTube, as well as uploading these here streams to that YouTube channel for posterity and just as an archive. <laughs> Secret Agent Neon and her lover Silas. Ain't that just the way? As well as in my link tree is a uh, links to all the various sites I post art to, like my little character in the corner, or my new end screen. Because <laughs> I'm really proud of my new end screen. This is very nice. I've been trying to draw more and just get that, get, get it in there. Do more, break down my mental blocks, uh, do like more writing, more drawing. This is also why I have a schedule for my streams now, so that I kind of pseudo force myself to do this thing that I want to do. But yes, for videos, streams, videos of those streams, art, and even writing, because I do write, fanfics are fun, and uh, links to the places I post my fanfics can also be found from my link tree. And the only other thing through my link tree is my Patreon, which is a tip jaw, so if you're feeling kind, you can throw a dollary do through there. But yes, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for being on this journey with me for the special episode. It was a fun time. Once again, if you want all the other various things I do, videos, art, writing, and more, through the link tree. But I hope to see you dudes next time. Remember to be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Thank you very much for joining me here today, and good night.